Yes, yes, y'all. You know what it is. It's them kids and wives and 925s, but we are still married to the games. Episode 309. Thank you guys so much for being here. It's your boy, Gabe Patillo, with Tim Router, Ed Placencia, and Chris McCracken, of course. And as always, we are talking games and life, life and games. Thank you guys so much for being here. It's August up in this mug. Woo! It's hot up mm-hmm. in this mug, too. It is hot. I don't. In the middle of August. Too. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. We're almost done with it. <laughs> yeah, we are. Golly. <laughs> I think I was just. It's lo- hot. It's actually cooled down over here just because it's been raining a bunch. Oh, I think that's coming our way. Yeah. Shoot, man. I feel like the last. I feel like I went to sleep in July and I just woke up the last like three days. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, snap. It's like August. Like really yeah, August. This summer flew, man, didn't it? Yes. Man, like I, August. I missed Amara's first couple of days of school. Cause you gotta realize I've only been home actually like four days in the last three weeks. Wow. And so you have been that, traveling. Yeah, the fact that I've been home for more than two days in a row <laughs> feels crazy. <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and so it feels like I'm just like, ugh. The last two shows we've done, the reason they've been on Tuesdays is because I was only home that day and a half and then was wow. was leaving those tuesday nights Yikes, but getting man. home the monday mornings before the shows mm-hmm. and that was like the last couple trips so it's been a, a whirlwind over here so it's been weird to like settle down and realize it's august like my mom's birthday went by and i remember i was in new york and then my anniversary is this this weekend oh boy. Nice. so it's just like it just feels crazy Oh my gosh! I mean, you can just keep it going. You're yeah, man. on a roll. Let it ride. Let's go. Oh, Rain. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, got a little excited up top here. Um, <laughs> flipping the script. Yeah, right. flipping the script. I ain't really been doing anything, Chris. That's a I'm shed. Just kidding. <laughs> um, this is yeah. The shed's good. This is my last show. What? Not well, there the we go, guys. All you right. heard it here first. I, well, there it is. You heard it first, <laughs> Chris, Ed. It's you. It's just the three oh, of us now. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. I've been practicing. Everybody, yeah, everybody, get your oh yes, yes, yes ready. Yeah, right. Exactly. Gabe's out. Yeah. Send in oh, your yes. submissions. Yes, for y'all. The new yes, 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 y'all every week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, please. Seven oh two, seven oh three, MTTG. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do that. We need to do that around Good. Christmas time. You know how we've kind of right. had a call out some some Christmas. We've talked about uh, your favorite Christmas gifts and stuff like that. Maybe we should do a an oh yes yes y'all off this Christmas. Oh, I like that. Mm. Yep. It has yeah, it's kind of like bringing back respond. the whole intro of the show in a way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll take a collection of them. That's perfect. I like I love that. It. Good idea, Chris. We'll pass the hat. Okay, so you're quitting the show. How's yeah. the shit? And the shed is <laughs> no. This is my last. This is my last <laughs> week. Not in the shed. Ah, mm. beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's great, man. You excited? Yeah. I almost actually just went ahead and set up in there last night, but I oh, fell cool. asleep on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> all right. At like 1030. That's not like mm. you at all. No, it's not. I was like, what is going on? I woke up to Jenny at, I don't even know what time. She's like, babe, do you want to go to bed or you want to stay out here? And I was like, I'll come to bed. And then fell back asleep and then <laughs> woke up at 2.30 and went nice. to bed. And then, you know, here we are at 5.30. So, um, yeah, this last week was uh, pretty crazy. Um, I got the opportunity um, from Stancil's standpoint, I guess, just as a buddy, he was like, mm-hmm. hey, do you want to um, audition for Crucible, the game yeah. that I'm working on? And, and I was like, no, I was like, well, nah. I was like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, I think my email back to him didn't have any questions. It only said, well, duh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and so uh, he let me audition, you know, and Ed knows and maybe Chris knows a little bit, too. Like auditioning is such a crapshoot. Like you're like, I mean, mm-hmm. 
of course I'll audition. That's like the old Jeff Foxworthy joke where they're like, hey, man, we need you to pay this. And he's like, I don't have the money. It's like, well, you got to get us the money somehow. He's like, I don't have it. They're like, can you write a check? He's like, no, I can't. A check? Yeah, I can write a check. <laughs> and so it's like, of course I can audition, but there's like literally zero chance of getting the gig. I Not really, highly, it turns out. Highly, <laughs> highly doubt that. Right. So on Tuesday, like the 31st, I'm leaving for New Hampshire and, and Stancil calls me and um, I'm like, hey, buddy. He's like, hey, dude, we listened to all the we listened to all the um, auditions and you made the finals. And I was like, ah! and I started Ooh. just cracking up <laughs> and I'm like, because mm-hmm. I told him my my goal was to just get heard and make it into like the top 30. Mm. Turns out only 30 people auditioned, so mm. I was already in the well, top 30. Helped. Yep. There you go. <laughs> so that there you go. Achieved. Check. Achievement unlocked. That's right. 100%. Yeah. Trophy, and, please. Exactly. And so then, you know, it trickled down. I was like, okay, well, I'd love to make, like, the finals because that would be incredible. And so when he said I made the finals, I was like, I was just so happy. And I was oh, like. Oh, yeah, you I, should, man. Absolutely. I can't believe it. Blah, 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 blah. That's great. Um, and then he was like, and you got the job. And I was oh, like, oh, come on. Like, my body, I couldn't even, like, I didn't even know what to do. Like, I'm in the bunk area of the bus. We're about to drive to someplace. I don't even know. And, like, I wanted to, like, run and scream and laugh and yeah, cry. And, you know, because I was just excited. Like, there wasn't mm-hmm. a chance in all of God's green earth. Anyway. He said the only problem yes, is there was. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and so he said the only problem is uh they need you next week. And I was like, "Oh, well, I can't do it. We have shows." And he was like, "Uh yeah, the the 8th, 9th or 10th." And I was like, "Crap." And I'm looking at the schedule. I was like, <gasps> "We only have a show on the 8th. I'm off the 9th and the 10th." Beautiful. And so, <laughs> last week I uh flew out to Burbank from actually from Dallas I hit Chris up because I came through Dallas real quick because we was mm-hmm. on our drive back from New Mexico and uh flew flew out of Dallas and uh went to Burbank in a place called Formosa Interactive so Formosa if I wasn't already I mean so nervous like Ooh. diarrhea nervous <laughs> um no that's a good kind the, yeah exactly the gift Yes. As Lauren calls it. Exactly. The gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> yeah. <Jeez>. <laughs> <laughs> Formosa, you know, have done voiceovers, you know, they've done voiceover in their studio for games like Uncharted and Halo and The Last of Us and Star Wars. No big deal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, no you're good. You're fine. Breath of the Wild. <laughs> that old dialogue jam exactly <laughs> right. that's awesome that's the joke the only script where every line is one syllable <laughs> exactly oh um <laughs> so, you know i played link in breath of the wild exactly. top of my resume <laughs> huh? I, put, I put it on there just even though it's bullcrap yeah it well yeah definitely wrong. put it on there <laughs> exactly but. man so i I got to freaking voice a character in Amazon's game Crucible. Which well, is his name sorry. Midge? Yeah, I'm sorry? Is his name Midge? No, it's not Midge. No. Is there a Midge no. in the game? I don't know. That'd be a weird oh, no. shooter name guy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> name. Did, you get, did you get to <laughs> say, it sure is cold outside? I, you know what's funny? I didn't even think of it. Oh. I, was so, I was so outside myself. I know you were. I and you beside were. myself. Yeah. Um, but it was like the most amazing thing. I yep. I worked with a director named Chris Borders, and he's done like all the Gears of War. He's been doing video game stuff for 25 years. And so mm-hmm. he's got just all these amazing stories. Wow, and that's um, awesome. And he like kind of broke down the story behind uh Nathan Drake, which I didn't know was th- Nathan Fillion. They always wanted Nathan Fillion from the beginning. Oh. To wow. be the voice of Drake. And but Nathan Fillion at the time was a huge star, like bigger than he is now. You know what I'm saying? Like the reason we know him 
is because of what he did 10 years ago, right? And mm-hmm. so um, they were like, you're not going to get Nathan Fillion. And, he, and they were like, but that's who we want. Like, that's who we've named the character after. Like, his name's Nathan. Like, that's who we want. And mm. and uh, and he was like, listen, everybody brought somebody to the table. He's like, I'm bringing two people to the table. And he was like, one of the guys I work with all the time, his name's Nolan North, and I think you guys would love him. And this guy freaking brings Nolan North to the table. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so nuts. And so um, he just like, you know, because they would have to get the, the character that I'm doing. It's got this like really big deep voice and it is just like hurt the whole time and so he was just the kind of director who's like all right let's take five we don't want to burn you out and so i'd come in and he would just tell stories in between you know takes mm. and stuff like that and they made it so so nice and there was another guy named chris evans that uh is from the amazon team and sam captain america yeah exactly and then <laughs> uh a girl named sam that um wrote it and so it was just a, it was an awesome experience. I, I Dude, good job, man. That's just, awesome. Yeah. yeah. And it's just right. a dream come true. So you know proud what I'm of you. Saying? Yeah. So proud of you, man. Yeah. Achievement unlocked. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> right. Definitely. Achievement unlocked. So, That's great, brother. Yeah. So hopefully I get to be part of that family and they don't uh, end up just using somebody else. <laughs> There's that <laughs> huge backlash, Jeez. like what happened to the bot in, in Destiny. They'd be like, oh, yeah. guy's voice is terrible. Let's start a petition. Uh, <laughs> Let's get Nolan North to replace him. <laughs> I like I how highly you, doubt it. You you got the job, you did the job, and you're still coming up with ways that you won't actually do the job. <laughs> you, yeah, you it won't actually land. It's too, it's too much of a dream come true. Like I can't. I, no, it, man. It's a huge Embrace dream it. come true. So it's like uh, it's like when Jenny said yes. I was like, oh snap! How am I yeah. going to jack this up before we get married? <laughs> how's she gonna divorce me before we're even married exactly how i keep these i keep these rose colored glasses on her how do i oh, like that's amazing yeah anyway it was, oh, a, it was awesome dude yeah well done right? well, well done, done man. man so because of that i've been just extremely detached and not on discord not on twitter even though i did start a twitter edward I, i'm not i got no words <laughs> God, it's about words. time. <laughs> There's my words. Tim, you need to check your <laughs> app mentions because people have been tweeting at you too, Mr. Haven't signed in in 2,748 days. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, <laughs> trying to think what I, I mean. So I haven't been gaming at all. I'm, I'm breaking down my desk, um, everything to move out into the shed. And. Uh, so my room feels a little weird because everything's gone out of it. I just have like my main, like my small desk and my microphones still set up because I had to do some mm. voiceover jobs yesterday. And so um, that's it. That's all that's going on over here. Is Jenny uh, taking the space over already? Yeah. Or the kids? No, oh, I'm, I'm sure she is. Oh, Jenny yeah. definitely is. She has moved her new desk in and moved her other desk out and... The kids right now have a fort in here. And so nice. that's awesome. definitely uh, yep. going. And I've realized that I have a, a bunch of HDMI cords and I don't know what to do with them. Yeah, I do too, man. You I've can got send a big... me a couple. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need any. <laughs> no, I, I do. I, I always am like, dang it, I need another one. Really? For something. Yeah, I run into it all the time. So, I always feel like I have so many and then it's like, nope, USB. Nope, yeah. USB. So just in this area... I probably have 12 HDMI cords. That's awesome. I yeah. can only think that I need six. What do I do with the rest of them? I You'd mean, seriously, like if you just can get guy, rid of them, put them in a box. Yes. Keep them just, keep them just in case. Yeah. I mean, right? Don't you do somewhere. that? Yeah, put them yeah. in a little bag box. Talking whatever. my wife into that is the hard part because this is like a purging as well. Now that I'm moving out there, so all the things that I've amassed, that I yes, probably don't yes. really need. She's like, all right. She like brings the trash bag up last night. <laughs> <laughs> she's loving it. Oh, she's yeah. like, okay, out you go. Yeah. She's like, all right. So what can we get rid of? What about that? Uh, what about, are you going to keep that star Wars guy? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, uh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got that big portal gun. Um, yeah, you do. From valves that's, that got signed. That's all going out in the shed, though. She's that's like, what your shed's for. She's like, are we keeping that? And I'm like, yeah, it's signed <laughs> by everybody. 
She's like, really, babe? Is anybody even going to know what it is? I'm like, I know what it is. <laughs> right? <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right. I, I've got, that yes. one seems a bit silly. I mean, it's got signatures on it. It's got to mean yeah. something. That's what I think. But like, you know, <laughs> you know, I've got a Cloud Strife Smash Brothers uh, amiibo. She's like, huh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. She's like, are we going to keep? So Cloud is the main character from Final Fantasy VII. Which mm. is my favorite video game of all time. Mm. Yeah, right. and uh, somebody bought it for me, and so I've had it on my, you know, the little bookshelf by my desk. Are you keeping? Are you keeping that? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I have a Darth Vader and a Boba Fett and a. I can just know, hear. I can just hear her too. Hey, are you keeping you know, that? I mean, a I, Cole I, McGrath I from Infamous. I get the whole purge aspect, but at the same time, like you're moving it to your brand new space. Like why the, that it has, it's totally empty. So it's not like you're That's hurting right. for space there. So why, well, why even bother? Stuff on the walls helps in studios. Yes. Yeah. You know yes. what I'm saying? The only problem is I don't have the shelving stuff yet for in there. So I think she's just worried that it's going to be just a bunch of crap all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Cause mm. the only furniture I have in there is just a desk and a chair. And so it's like, where do you put the other stuff? And I'm like, well, I'm going to do this. And then that's going to happen. And then it's going to be set up like this. And it's going to be perfect. <laughs> she's like, so, but are you keeping it? So um, what's it to her? She's not going to go out yeah, there. I mean, like it, uh, it's she's not. I mean, you're going to be the one taking care of the place and cleaning it. Right. And everything, but so it's very, not going to be her in, responsibility. Very right? invested because of how long it's taken to do. And so she's just very like, <laughs> I want it to be awesome. She's in there like caulking and Filling in the you know oh, stuff that's awesome. and painting the baseboards, yeah, and, that, and stuff like oh, that. So nice. yeah, it's very nice. And you know, she helped me move the arcade around in there. And she said, are you keeping mm -hmm. this arcade? I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> that thing's a beast, man. <laughs> yeah, that thing is heavy. Tim, it is help a me move beast. It one time. <laughs> <laughs> me and that arcade go back. Yeah, <laughs> pick it up at the bottom. Pick it up at the bottom. I'm gonna grab the top. Right. Oh yeah, oh. that thing Lift is the legs. crazy. How heavy you think it is, Tim? Oh, pff, I don't know. 300 pounds, 350? At least, at least. That thing is so pushing five. heavy. Oh, It could have been a ton for all I know. I could have been moving an <laughs> elephant that day. <laughs> anyway, all right, yeah, that's me. Uh, man, that's awesome. Congratulations, brother. Know, right? yeah. Yeah. That's go, really, Way really great. Thanks. It was cool seeing the tweet from them and how excited yes. they were with the job you did as well. Yes, he definitely left an impression, so that's awesome. <sighs> I'm trying not to freak out about just all of it. Too late. Like, well, yeah, <laughs> that's already that's that ship has sailed with the minute you stepped into that studio. I know, now but you, you know, just gotta talk yourself off a ledge. There's all these things where like, you know, people start liking it and everything like that. And then like Troy Baker liked it. And I was like, ah! <laughs> I was like Why? Why? Oh, I can't stand up. Oh, I'm fading. Somebody catch me. Yeah, but he's your boy. Jenny's now, like so. Jenny's like, let him pass right. out so I can throw out all this stuff. <laughs> exactly let me throw out this portal gum go ahead pass out <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> we already have the arcade cabinet in which to bury him <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> very true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, true that's anyway, awesome man yeah it's been yep. it's been a uh, a whirlwind of a week it's been awesome i'm really glad you went first that's that's a great way to kick it off yeah man what about you router oh man this could be <laughs> This episode could be the narcoleptic tiger claw too, man. I am oh, no. tired. I may fall asleep. I just the past the past yes, two yes, days. I just please. I have not been getting a whole lot of sleep. Uh, I have. Uh, I had a sinus infection like a week and a half ago. I went to see my ENT. Oh, welcome back. Yes, exactly. Uh, it it was really minor, but uh, because I'm prone to my nasal polyps, like I just I go and see him every six months. I was due for my checkup. He's like, well. You're fine up front. In the back, you've got uh, a small sinus infection, and that's flaring up some polyps. Let me give you some prednisone and antibiotic. Let this ride out, and then we'll, you know, we'll put, we'll get back on a good like medication, nasal spray, and and do all that stuff. So, I mean, my nose has been fine, but it's just one of those things where it's really subtle. And like once I got on the the steroid, I could my nose started opening up, and I could smell a little bit better and and everything. So I'm like, okay, it was definitely necessary. Well, it turns out. I have a rash from the prednisone all over my body. It's Sweet. like a heat. What? what? Yeah, it's you not. It doesn't it all over your body. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> He's been bathing I, in it. 
<laughs> exactly. I've had Got I've taken this. <laughs> I've taken prednisone like all the other times that I needed to, and everything's been fine. And for some reason, yesterday, Lauren looks at me. She's like, "What is all over you?" I'm like, "What?" And I look down, and I have a rash, and it's it's caused apparently from the prednisone. So I probably can't take that anymore. So it doesn't bother me at all. It's just it kind of looks like a heat rash, but it's just mm. like, yeah, great, one more thing to add to the pile. So, uh, so I, yeah, I've just been, I haven't been sleeping. So I've been, <laughs> uh, I've just been getting up and doing a little bit of work and going up and playing a little games and doing all that kind of stuff. But, um, mm. yeah, so I may fall asleep, which could be fun. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. That is uh, hilarious. But getting back, getting back to it, Piper's topic of the week is, of course, soccer. Rash. We had our, fr- I thought it was rashes <laughs> rash, too. <laughs> rash, rash boy. <laughs> Um, we had our first soccer practice yesterday. Uh, we've got a, three new girls on our team. The stakes are a little bit higher this year because now we go four versus four. We have big, bigger goals and a bigger field to play score yet? Uh, still not yet, but I know I will be mentally. And, um, and so it's, it's going to be a little bit different for these girls, but we have our first game, of course, this Saturday at 9 a.m. So it'll be, mm-hmm. uh, it, it will so be very interesting. Bigger goal, still no goalie. A bigger goal, still no goalie, but at a Higher fourth stakes. player. Isn't that backwards? No score. Add a fourth player back there who can probably pay, play defense. Not be in the goal, but at least be a, like a defender. <laughs> we Lord need to just mercy. focus on dribbling and passing first before positions of who's a defender and who's a striker. Can we get through that first? <laughs> <laughs> one girl is literally crying while running to the ball yesterday oh, because Lord. her what? because her quote feet hurt from her cleats even though her cleats fit her fine. <laughs> I've got another two hugging each other for like the longest time and trying to jump on each other's backs all while we're trying to have a little bit of a scrimmage. No, no. It's why just, even do this? Why even have it? Honestly, it's fun. Like I started no, laughing not. after a while Doesn't and sound the, fun. And the in the <laughs> Coach and I were just laughing after a while, but it, it's like I enjoy it because it's it's. Piper. Tim just needed a reason to drink. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So and it's funny. Reason to drink. Check. Got Eleven it. o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Uh, uh, no, so, sweetie, this is a Gatorade. No, you can't have any. <laughs> exactly. He's like, when's this is Gatorade Brown? Be like, don't worry yeah. about it. No, don't worry about it. Yeah, Why is your fine. water so spicy? <laughs> How's your face so red? We, uh, my this rash. will be, I think, our, <laughs> right, exactly. This will be our Bread fifth se- season, I think, all together. Yeah. Like, we've, uh-huh. we've kind of grown up with these girls, so it's, it's, it's fun. Yeah. But yeah. it is, it's a bit of a hot mess. But I mean, we're what there. What is their, she, their team? The, like, what is their, their team name? Uh, again? we came up, we thank you. We came up with that last night. Um, our jerseys are, are dark blue, so we are the blue unicorns now. I was gonna jokingly say something about a so, unicorn. Well, <laughs> it's different yeah. every year. It's not. It's not consistent in any way. Uh, or, for for like fall and spring. For fall and spring seasons. No, no, it's fine. That's a legit sports. Nothing's question. consistent about this thing. No, there's nothing consistent about this. For um, for <laughs> for Williamson County like Rec, that. you have a you have a sponsor, and that sponsor uh, is for both the fall and the spring season. I think. Gotcha. Mm. So, yeah. So, yeah, no, the, you the nailed sponsor it. It's is exi- Jim Beam. The, the sponsor is Chirac. <laughs> <laughs> this oh weekend, sponsored gosh. by Gin and Tonic. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh uh, yeah, anyway, uh, Ed, you nailed it. I'm telling you, just Ed, you look, it's you look nice back to know Tim's Ed can- under an umbrella with a, a glass with a straw and an umbrella coming out of it. <laughs> Exactly. You just kick the ball, sweetie. Kick the ball. Yeah, exactly. He's You're doing big fine. Mirror thing, You're getting doing the great. sun on his face. That's right. Oh, <laughs> so good. You got public enemy so, playing in the background. You're doing great, honey. Ed, congratulations. You have a mindset of a six year old girl as well. So you knew exactly what name to call the team. Well played. Well played. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> nailed it. Oh, totally nailed it. Oh, so good. Does the sponsor um, pay for jerseys? Like, do you get to get oh, jerseys yeah, yeah, made? Yeah, yeah. we're sponsored by the Tennessee uh, Travel, the Soccer Travel League. So mm. there's a big logo on there. And yeah, we, so they and will always... Will you get a unicorn on there? The Tennessee uh, Soccer Travel League, blue, black, <laughs> black unicorns. Blue, black unicorns. Uh, black no, blue unicorns. You can't, you no, know, you just make up the name and, you know, on the spot. And so we, oh, we had a, a little meeting at the end of practice and they all wanted blue unicorns. And there you have it. 
At what therefore, point do they learn the flopping? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, exactly. I think that's later on. Yeah, that's when do they on. learn the name are? That's when they become professional. That's we when actually they learn need to, to learn. <laughs> we need to learn to dribble and pass and shoot correctly first before we do the it's name still, or, or which any I understand. Of that. This is probably the same, you know, how soccer is. But because I'm not like I don't follow soccer, it's still so mm. weird to hear me to hear it called dribbling because I'm so used I to know, the basketball right? mindset. Yeah, like where you, yep. you're bouncing it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, uh, so yeah, so we got we had that going on. We have our first full week of first grade this week, and That's Piper's right. doing great, loving her teacher. Everything's great there. Love getting back into in a nice routine, mm -hmm. uh, which is which is good. And um, yeah, so uh, so yeah, just been kind of getting settled in, and 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 that's been nice. Uh, on the gaming front, I have basically given up on my platinum of Far Cry. And, uh, oh no! I have, why? I have because I, I I go on at five o'clock in the morning for multiplayer of Far Cry, and I'm the only one in the room. I'm like, well, that's it. Man, Done there. Chris said he'd do it. I think you should do I, it. Just text well, Chris two days before. If he's like not even able to, is it that you don't have some someone to co-op with? There's nobody. Or in, there's nobody, there's in the nobody lobby. In the, there's nobody in the lobby. Yeah, so if there's oh, nobody in the lobby, to play it would against. matter. Yeah. yeah, there's nobody yeah, yeah. in the lobby. Oh, and I, I haven't see. been able to play at night. I might, like, the weekends are, are my best chance to play at night, uh, uh -huh. which I know I could get anybody on there uh, from there. So I've, I've, I'm okay for now. I, it, it's going to happen eventually. Like, we'll, we'll jump on. There'll be some people from our community be like, hey, I'm ready to go. And then we'll go and do it. And it'll be great. So I've actually switched gears and I am now playing South Park, the fractured butthole, and loving every freaking minute of it. Good. It is just. <laughs> <laughs> spectacular uh i do love the new combat system is fantastic i'm collecting everything and crafting and there's just so much to it it is just so much fun the voice acting is hysterical and uh I, i'm i'm just i'm just sitting there with a smile on my face so it's definitely a lot oh, nice. slower pace than a far cry 5 that's for sure but it is really fun and i'm having a great time with it and um and that in Clash Royale, as always, still getting our butt, butt whipped on those clan wars, man. I don't know what's going on. We've taken Dude. a turn. But we're, we'll get there. Yeah, we can serve happen. them L's, baby. Yeah, we are, definitely. But, uh, <laughs> Capital but L's. Yeah, man. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Yes, yeah, so we've got our first soccer game this Saturday. And, um, and, uh, and I'll just get over this rash and we'll be good to go. There you go. Mm. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. Figures. <laughs> McCracken. <laughs> yes. You got any rashes going on? Yeah. How's, how's your rash? I don't have any rashes, at least not yet or not mm -hmm. at the moment. Well, that's um, good. Well, you're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is just kind of flowing and going here. Nothing's crazy out of the normal. We did finish the whole 30. We kind of wrapped that up this past weekend. Oh, good. oh nice. Um, so that went well. I mean, just like it is every time we're going to somewhat continue on with it because we've gotten used to how it is and it, it Stacey's been able to make, which every time that we've done it, she's been able to make food. Because I go into it thinking, oh, man, I'm going to be eating, like, just a bunch of yeah, lettuce styrofoam. the whole time. Mm -hmm. But that's not, I mean, she comes up with all these ways to make really great. Like, I honestly, if she didn't tell me we were on the Whole30, like, I wouldn't realize we're on the Whole30 necessarily. Mm. Yeah, the dinner that you guys them. cooked for me was almost Whole30. And it was yeah. delicious. Like, yeah, I so would have licked the pan. She's just so good. good at cooking and and coming up with ways to do things that fall in line, you know, with the curriculum, if you will, for the whole 30 stuff. So we're continuing on. We're just going to keep making stuff like that, except for every now and then like, Oh, it's been a couple of weeks. We're going to have pizza this Friday or, you know, whatever it mm -hmm. is. So, but it all went fine. And it was a, it was a success if you will. Um, and then this past Saturday we had um, another 5k that we had signed up for. This one was, or it was put on by a brewery. I don't remember the name of the brewery. I think it's just called Brew House, um, mm -hmm. but or called Old the Town Tennessee Brew House. That's soccer. what it is. Tennessee yeah. Travel <laughs> Soccer Blue Unicorns. It's mm -hmm. the Blue Unicorns <laughs> Brew House. <laughs> <laughs> the Tim Router Have a Drink Now 5K. Yep, exactly. <laughs> um, so we had that, and that one. I didn't actually. Uh, I was thinking that I may try to go. You know, beat my personal best again because the the course was basically just a big square, and you had to circle it twice. It was a much mm -hmm. simpler course. Oh, nice! But it was raining that day, and I'm ah. like, you know what? I'm just gonna walk it with an umbrella. I don't really care. So nice. I ended up just walking it uh, and went through it that way. But then, you know, you get to have a couple free drinks with your uh, race submission. And then we just hung out there for a while. Mm -hmm. And then this week, actually, at the gym, because uh, Stacy and I go to the same gym, as well as our friend Katie. Oh, that's um, great. A lot of times we go at the same time because uh, it's, you know, a mixed class. It's more and, fun. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it's always nice to have somebody there to that you know to kind of help oh, encourage yeah. you or push you or whatever like that. Mm-hmm. But they were doing um uh where they they try you try to set like a new personal best for running specifically this time and that way that like you you get whatever your best is and then they gauge that and then like 6 months later they do it again to see if you were able to increase oh, nice. your mm-hmm. personal best or whatever. Yeah. Uh-huh. And so now granted this was on a treadmill which anybody who runs and, and you know does that, you know as their yeah. hobby or does that often Ooh. knows that running on a treadmill is way easier than running outdoors. That's right. So the ground take that moves with a bit of a you. grain of salt. Yeah. But <laughs> I ran a new personal best of uh 826 and 826 mile. Well done, which is sir. Pretty fast nice, for dude. me. I mean the fastest I've ever done it outside way back in the day when I was doing a a lot of running uh, when we lived at the other house because I had a much bigger neighborhood back before I hurt my ankle. I was able to get a nine minute mile one time, like for a oh, session, nice. like a, you know, an inter- mm. entire session, not just a single mile. Um, so my goal was to do nine, and then I just I was feeling good, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to push it a little bit faster, and then had to dial it back just a little bit as we were getting close to the end, but came in at eight twenty six. So I was pretty happy with that. That's awesome, yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then right. that's really been it. I mean, there's not been a ton else going on. Um, I know we're going to be going. I think we got a, a kind of a big weekend coming up. We got like a friend's birthday, and then I think Stacy and Katie are going to be going back down to Waco. And I, I think Kale and I are going to go off and go do something, but I, we haven't really uh, nailed down exactly what that is yet. Um, mm-hmm. So this coming weekend, we're looking forward to that and some different things. And I think the weekend after that, we maybe we're going to Oklahoma because we haven't been there a really long time. But shoot, you should go this weekend. Oh, is that when Toby's going to be there this weekend? Yes, doggone it. Doggone it. That sucks. Yeah, and I, well, he's, y'all are going to be in OKC, right? Yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. Oh, wow. Well. Next, Next time. time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can go Ooh. ahead and just mark it down. You'll be back to Texas. Yeah, <laughs> Numerous will. times. Yeah, so we'll will. figure something out. Um, on the game side, uh, outside of just the, the normals, I, I have jumped into H1Z1, the official launch, which it's not totally different, but there is some polish and some new weapons and things added. And early on, I was feeling like it was a little bit tougher. And part of that could have been just because more, even more people seemed like they had jumped on because the store was kind of promoting it a little bit. But they also changed some fundamental things about the game a little bit. Um, but now I've kind of gotten in a groove of how the new kind of meta works and everything. So I'm able to get hmm. right back into it and, and kind of mess around with different things. I like the new... The new weapon that they have, I mean, it's kind of niche, but it's it's there. And then the new vehicle that they got, it's actually really cool to be in there. Um, what is it? Some more over- What's the new vehicle? It's like a, it looks like a Hummer, like a Humvee, like the kind of oh, military nice. use. And so when you do, because they do uh, solos, duos, and then fives. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you do fives, you can get all five people in that one vehicle. That's like Oh, big, you can. That's yeah, everybody draw, can get man. it. And it's got a hole in the mm. center, so one person can get out and shoot like any direction from nice. that center spot. Okay, I like yeah, that. Yeah, which I haven't actually played fives with it yet, but mm-hmm. the, the vehicle's in every mode, so I've driven around it a few times. And it's much stronger, so it's harder to get destroyed Like if people are trying to shoot you, unless they Dope. shoot a rocket at it. I'm sure that would take it down, but I've mm-hmm. not been hit with a rocket. Overwatch, been playing it, enjoying the Summer Games event. Haven't really gotten anything of note out of the loot boxes, but it's still been a good time jumping in there. Got to play with Ed I know the feeling. and Jared the other day, and <laughs> it's the first time I played with them in a really long time, so that was yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah, that was nice. Uh, I have jumped back into Detroit, just kind of slow and going with that. I I don't know how far along I, I am in it. Every time I feel like, oh, I gotta be getting close to maybe getting close to the end and then it just keeps going. So I have no idea where I am. <laughs> it's still maintaining enough of my interest that I keep going back to it, but it's not like when I put it down, I'm like, Oh my gosh, I got to go back right now. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. we'll just continue on until either that desire dies or I finish the game. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I don't like when you, every time you boot up the game, there's this lady that's there and she talks and she'll be like, Oh, welcome back. Haven't seen you in a while or whatever. And occasionally she'll throw out little things like, I have a survey or whatever. She's kind of annoying. I don't like her. I can't hit that get in the game fast enough. I don't want to see her anymore. I'm a little Wait bit for over it. her. But outside of that, it's all still fine. I mean, I still have the same issues with it, but I still have the same interest with it as well. So mm-hmm. That's I'm just going to see where it goes. I'm hoping it wraps up soon because we are not that far away from Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. And da, da, da. once Spider-Man da, hits, da, da. I'm, not, I'm not going back to Detroit, at least not for a while. At least I don't think I will be. So Is Spider-Man this month? It's the 7th it's of September. Yeah, yeah, 7th of September. Oh, man. So yep. we still got a, a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. But So I feel like I'll be able to finish this out, but I need to get on the ball with it. So Yeah, that's, that's kind of how I'm feeling, too. I'm like, it's hard in this transition phase to settle down and play anything. But, mm-hmm. like, I definitely want to... I've been getting more and more excited about Spider-Man, and so I'm just kind of wanting to dive into something, man. 
or I will you know, say Ryan? they have been promoting the crap out of it. Yes, and not they just have. promotion, but they've been showing here's another video of like 58 minutes of gameplay or whatever. I'm just like, I don't want yeah, to see any of this. It's uh, like I even I don't mind a lot of times going and seeking out stuff to learn about games. I'm I'm very seldom like a media blackout person, but even I'm like, all right. This is enough. <laughs> yeah, exactly. well, let's just leave something mm -hmm. behind, the, you know, the curtain yes, for when we get right. there. I don't want to know every single secret you've got going. So I haven't watched anything in a, I feel like since early or late June, because I just keep mm. pumping things out. So yeah. I'm just ready for the game to get here and hopefully it doesn't get more things don't get spoiled. Yeah. Hopefully so not. I don't know how much spoilery, more spoilery you can get, but you know, that's what it is. But that's pretty much it for me. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the only thing I've been playing this week. Edward? Yes. What's been going on with you? Oh, you know, we got some uh, people in town. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Woo. Staying in the next room, so that's all I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been... Go wake them up. Go wake them yeah. up. Let's go. Yeah, if you want to do the oh, yes, yes, y'all challenge. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> no, uh, Sarah's uh, brother, uh, Dave, and his wife, Bree, are in town, and... um. Uh, it's been nice because Dave is a gamer, and yep. Yay. so he's already beaten Detroit. <laughs> really? Um, yeah. Dang it! Sheesh! Yeah. <laughs> and again, this game is huge. Um, there was one point where I killed off a character, and so of course you don't see any scenes with that character in it for the rest of the game. And I'm just seeing all this other stuff that. Oh, because Dave had, didn't kill him off. Because they didn't kill him off, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, this game is huge. So it was, it was really, it, it made watching it fun because I was watching something I hadn't seen before. Yeah. Uh, so that was really, really cool. Uh, still uh, going to town on some dead cells, loving that game. Yeah. What is that? It's a side scroller. It's kind of like a dungeon type of a theme. Um, you go in. Try to get through as many dungeons as you can. If you die, you lose all your items and you start from the very beginning. Oh. And the first time that happened, exactly. I was like, yeah, I'm not playing this game again. Yeah, exactly. I was like, what, what motivation do I have to try again? If, if I have this, you know, you die and, and start over every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they've done a really, really good job of putting a carrot in front of you to continue on. Because even though you lose your items and you start from the, the beginning you can permanently make permanent upgrades to your character okay. or to things you can find. So even though you're starting from the beginning, you're a little bit better and you have a little bit more of an okay. advantage going in. Is it kind of like uh, uh, Infinity Blade? Um, I don't know. I've did never you play played Infinity it, Blade so on the iOS. I didn't know. It was like know. that sword slasher thing and you try to make it to the boss. And if you die, same thing. You had to start all the way over the beginning, but you got to at least keep the weapons you had amassed. Okay, going right. Going forward, yeah. Right, and you can like make upgrades so that when you die, you start with three thousand of the coins you had rather than zero. Or, mm -hmm. and also all mm -hmm. of the rooms, they're never the same when you go through. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, so when you start again, you don't know how it's gonna how the map's gonna be laid out. Uh, so that makes it fun as well. And uh, I, I looked at it and I was like, it's a side scroller. I don't really care for those. Yeah, and I've been pleasantly surprised at how much time i'm putting into this game and that's on what you know, uh, everything, I, think I think it's on everything nice dead cells yeah, yeah. Hmm. a lot of fun uh i tried out uh doom on uh yeah how'd that the, go the game pass it was i mean i like how fast it is uh i like uh just the it feels like you're sprinting the entire time that's a lot of fun um it's a it's a lot uh yeah it's it is very easy to be overwhelmed mm-hmm and uh, Dave and I were actually going back and forth, kind of, you know, when you die, I take the controller kind of a thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, I was like, this is fun. I probably won't play it again. Oh. But I enjoyed my time. Well, thank God it know, was free. Exactly. Exactly. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I tried out the uh, We Happy Few put out a VR. Uh, it's not even a game. It's just more of a five minute experience. Yeah. Uh, so at first I was like, oh, cool. We happy. I didn't know we happy few was doing something. And I tried it out and you're basically watching a guy read the news for five minutes. Oh, so come on. Yeah, you know, the crazy oh. thing is I had totally forgot that that game was coming to PS4 ever since Microsoft bought the studio. Me too. I always thought that it was a Microsoft exclusive this whole time. I did too. Yeah. Yeah. 
I have been watching a lot of gameplay online, and it's definitely different than I didn't realize it was two years ago. Almost, yeah, to, almost to the time. day, it was two years ago in July mm-hmm. that we played the demo. And so it's definitely changed. It's definitely better. There's a m- little more Is of it? a story. Um, nice. Uh, but it's still not enough to make me want to go grab it. Really? Uh, the demo so was just... that bad that it, it turned you off that bad from it? The demo oh, yeah, was I... just so different from what you expected from watching that first trailer that was amazing. Right. That yes. is nuts. So yeah. is it the same game as then or no? It's the same game. It starts off the same. Um, but then uh, the, the, the demo, it kind of had more of a, a free roam feel to it. Just kind of like scavenge, you know, run and scavenge and hide. And this okay. one has more of a, hey, here's your objective to move the story along, go here to try to find this thing. Okay. Um, and, and, and I'm still very early in just watching that someone play it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it could, it could be different, but I, I do like that there's a little more direction rather than just run around and hopefully you'll find what you're trying to find um, type of a feel to it. So I do like that change that they've made, mm-hmm. uh, but I'm still, uh, I'm not even on the fence about picking it up. I have that's I crazy. The, I can see the fence, but I'm not on it. <laughs> yeah, there's the fence. There's the fence right there. That's a mighty yeah. tall fence. You're like, oh, that's it's a chain link, fence. and last time my pants got caught, I really want to it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, yesterday morning, woke up and played the first episode of The Walking Dead, the final season. Yeah, buddy. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? It's so good. Oh, that's awesome, man! It's so, it's it so hard too. for me right now. I'm so like I I got to watch some of the stream, yeah. and I was telling Ed, I was like, man, the last thing I played of Walking Dead was 400 <laughs> days, and he was like, 400 days, oh Gabe, you got to play this game, and like I I feel like I'm just so lost in it. So that you were playing the first episode of the third season, is that what that was? This fourth is the season. fourth season. Oh, oh fourth snap! Season. Oh, I'm not playing it. Yeah. <laughs> That's why there was someone else in there that was like, I, I haven't played past episode two. I'm like, stop watching. <laughs> <laughs> Go play that game. Shoot. I'm glad you're loving it, though. How I mean, everything looked good. It's not it janky. Feels, it's everything feels so smooth. It's so good. nice. What? And, and Holy cow. That's they weird. actually got it right. And it's it's funny because I didn't realize. I thought it was a glitch in Xbox store or something. And didn't realize that if you pre-order this one, you got all of the other ones. <gasps> oh, wow. Except for 400 days, for some reason. Well, that 400 days wasn't that great. No, it's yeah, fine. I, can, I might do that, man. I'm a, well, you can't pre-order awesome. it now. We can't do it now, yeah. right? <laughs> but I'm sure they'll have some sort of special coming up. It, they I'm usually sure. have some They'll have kind some of... Game of the Generation bundle. Or right, something. right, right. Yeah. right. Yeah. And so I, I went back and started playing the first Walking Dead, and... It's not as glitchy. Like there weren't any glitches. Um, it was definitely uh, some of the, the the gameplay and stuff was a little rough. Yeah. yeah. Just as far as like, oh, I've got to move this or that or whatever. But uh, it was fun. And just this one has going a, back. Doesn't have a cursor. You pointed out. Yeah. Yeah. There's no cursor. Is this the uh, first one with no cursor? As far as I, it's the first one I noticed it on. Um, because usually I can kind of scan the room and see if there's anything I can interact with. And now you just kind of have to wander around and. And hope you find something. Um, this one felt a little bit more. Um, uh, now, this is a bad term, but like it felt a little bit more walking sim than I remember the other ones feeling like. Like it felt like I was just watching you do a story, not like watching yeah. you play a video game. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. It definitely felt like what would have been in another season, like an episode three, where it's mostly story. Yeah. Um. And and and. Uh, but um. Yeah, it was it was kind of cool to see what they did with some of the characters. Um, I mean, the fact that Melissa Hutchinson can play Clem at all these different ages—that's incredible. Mm-hmm. And yeah. That's that's so freaking impressive. Um, but yeah, it was a uh, someone had sent me a meme, just saying when I said I was going to play it with uh, a a meme of or a, a gif of Jim Carrey, kind of like making a crazy face. And they're like, and and they just put that ending though, and that that gif. Oh wow! And I and. Okay. Uh, I, I know what they mean now. <laughs> really? Oh, you already so, finished it? Well, yeah, the first episode. Yeah, and yeah. And usually they're about, uh, it, this one's a little different because they have, usually they run around hour and a half, two hours. This one was about two and a half hours. Wow. And they're only having four chapters instead of five. 
So I'm curious to see if, if they're all going to be this long or what's going to happen with that. But uh, huh. yeah, it was, it was really good. Really good. It's still good, huh? Wow. Yeah. They did it again. I don't know how they I did know, it. I know, man. Yeah, I've kind of checked out on it too because I think I played some of... Uh, I did two and then three, I think. And then that was... I have just... I don't remember any of it. So I would go back and do three anyway. Mm, right. But that's, right. that's really exciting. And that kind of gives me hope now too, for uh, the wolf among us. Uh, I'm hoping that those dynamics and the mechanics of everything are, are going to be just as smooth because they definitely need redemption from that one. As great as that game is and was oh, yeah. and forever yeah. will be in my heart. I want the wolf among us two to be just the next level smoothness. And so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it will be. Is this with, the first game with that whole like rebuilt? Didn't they redo the engine? Completely yeah, or something? that's a good Is question. That first one. I'm not sure if they did any of the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy because that ran pretty smoothly as well. Um, so I'm not sure when that engine was introduced. Uh, but it, but it seems to me at least to have been a while since they have had you know Batman ran. I think in the first episode of the Batman series, there was a weird glitch, but yep. it didn't affect gameplay. Uh -huh. um, but then the rest of that season and the second season, it, it ran smoothly for me. So hmm. I think they've passed that. They've turned a corner. I hope so. Yeah, it was That's a lot crazy. of fun. Yeah. I'm glad. And, uh, yeah, just trying to get in as much gaming as we can. I Go to town. It. Getting after it. Yeah, you are. Right. Well, Router. Yes, sir. You got it? I got this. Rational. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like his new rapper name, Rational. Rational. Yeah. Lil Rash. Lil Rash. <laughs> Irrational. <laughs> Irrational. Nice. I like it. Oh, well yeah. done. Well yeah. done. Lil well, let's Rash. Do it. All right, here we go. Tanglewood for the PC, Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis. What is it called again? Tanglewood. Tanglewood. Oh, Tanglewood. Isn't that the Did, name of a studio too? Probably. I have no oh. idea. Sure. Let's go with that. I know Noodle Cake is one. <laughs> noodle Cake? Mm -hmm. No, that's not. Get out. Where really? all the Sega yeah. rappers come it's from. Tanglewood. Tanglewood. <laughs> whoop de whoop. <laughs> Yeah, Compton, <laughs> Long Beach, Tanglewood, <laughs> Tanglewood, <laughs> Noodle Cake, isn't that what? Uh, That's the Alto. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. That's right. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Great. Uh, Detective Gallo for the PS4 and Switch. Phantom Doctrine for the PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Ooh, Phantom Death. Doctrine. Mm. Yes. Don't very, ask about it, Gabe. Don't ask oh, about yeah, it. Very, sorry. It's very, it's very Phantomy. Mm -hmm. uh, Death's Gambit for the PC and PS4. 2064 read only memories for the switch that sounds extremely boring mm. uh as eduardo <laughs> said the walking dead the final season for the pc ps4 and xbox one <laughs> uh state of mind for the pc ps4 xbox one and switch hero defense for the xbox one pc ps4 Keep talking and nobody explodes for the ps4 switch and xbox one. Oh yeah that's supposed oh, to be fun right that's a lot so, of fun. That well, sounds why, fun. Is it a... I thought that it was already out. Is that, it's out for VR. For, I don't know yeah. how they're going to do it for a regular console. Interesting. Is that kind of one of those huh. um, everybody's got to do something and so a bomb doesn't go off kind of thing? Yeah. The person yeah. in the VR hat has the uh, can see the bomb. Yeah. And the people outside of it, they can't see it. They just they see, can't the see the instructions. On the screen. Or, they just, that the sounds instruction. fun. Yeah. yeah. It definitely sounds Yeah, fun. it was fun. So they got to be like, rotate right. the lower outer trunnion. And you're like, okay, I don't know what that is. That kind of thing. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. And then two more games for the Switch, Red's Kingdom and Kiro Blaster. That's right. Mm. And say two again, Tangle, Tanglewood. Say again what that's out for. Tanglewood is for PC, Sega, Mega Drive, slash Genesis. That's right. That's weird. Hmm. It, it's weird seeing that because it's always just PS4, <laughs> Xbox One, Switch, PC, and then exactly. now we have Sega Mega Sega Drive. Mega slash Drive Genesis. was before the Genesis. Yeah, before the wow. Sega Genesis. So, so that's odd. I don't know exactly how that's working. 
but I thought that's what you said. <laughs> that is exactly what I said. Yes. It, it did. Um, it was a Tanglewood was a Kickstarter uh, game and it's produced ah. for the original Sega. Well, and there you go. Uh, they did it back in 2016 and raised uh, 55,000 pounds. Is okay. that what that is? Sure. Yep. The little L. Yes. Yes, and uh, the which is equals seventy thousand dollars. So it's a lot of money. Good job yeah. for uh, yeah. a system yeah, well that he's got barely. Right. Yeah. Good oh, luck for the, all the two gosh. people that will be playing it because they still have this system. <laughs> yeah, and for all those with the retrons, I guess maybe these work on the retron. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Throwbacks. There you go. Uh, we had no oops, uh, no NPD. Uh, back to you. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. Rashy, <laughs> little little rash out, little little rashy out. I like little it. rashy out. Uh, little red beard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's the, the cutest red pirate little, on the seas. Little, little, hey, little ginger, hit us all. <laughs> what you got, Bishop? Uh, Break him off with that little bit of the remix. <laughs> I don't have a remix, but I do have some news. All right. <laughs> yes. Finally, have a release date for the God of War New Game Plus. It's going to be dropping on August 20th, which is not that far away. So for anybody like myself that's been waiting on that to finally go through and do it again, um, it's going to be dropping not too far away. I guess that is next week. I think it's next Monday. Yeah, next hmm. Monday. And New um, Game Plus is where you get to keep everything from the end of the game and start new? That's right. Yeah, so essentially it lets you keep all of the gear, high-end gear that you did. The enemies are going to be tougher. There's going to be a few enemies with... the way, They're kind of teasing it in, like, some of the enemies will have... Not only will it be tougher, like, stronger and everything, but they'll have some new attacks or new... They're calling it new tricks up their sleeve. Um, so there's mm. going to be basically new things that you'll have to do or you'll, new ways you'll have to learn because pretty much in God of War, as you guys can attest whenever you're fighting any certain enemy, like maybe it's one of the trolls or whatever, you kind of learn their pattern very similar to the way you would in mm -hmm. like some other games like a Dark Souls or whatever, where you have to learn the enemy's pattern first and then you can figure out the best way to stagger them or to attack. Um, so there's going to be some variances there. There's going to be um, a new, some new equipment at, different, at a different rarity. There's going to be some new resources that you can acquire to upgrade those things. And it's basically just bringing in all the stuff that you you got from the very end of the game because you're always the most powerful when you're at the end mm -hmm. and bringing it into a new game version where things will be even tougher but yet that gear you can still maintain it and keep it and continue going nice on. boy so yeah I'm, I'm super looking forward to it it doesn't boy. seem like there's anything outside of little small things of that sort and maybe some of the enemies being having a few new skills it doesn't seem like there's going to be any new enemies that you haven't already encountered or anything like that maybe that's going to be something that we'll find out later maybe they wouldn't want to spoil that if they did indeed do that Mm -hmm. um, but I know that I would like to get back in and play the game. Now, unfortunately, when this drops, like spider Man's like right around the corner. So I don't know that I'll jump in right away. If it would have come out at the beginning of this month, I would have jumped in right away. Yeah. Um, but I am definitely looking forward to it because I know I want to play through God of War again. So I was definitely looking for new game plus. Man, that game was fun. Yeah. Mm, I, I'm that ready was to play a good game. game. Um, so uh, Nintendo's online service is creeping up on us. It's coming out the second half of September. It's launching with a couple different bundles. We've got $4 for one month, $8 for three months, mm -hmm. $20 for the whole year. And mm -hmm. then the one I didn't know was the family plan for $35, mm -hmm. which gives you up to eight different users wow. across That's the generous. Switch Online. Mm -hmm. Very generous. And so yeah. I'm really hoping that this this thing delivers because I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of like, if I thought about doing LASIK, right. I'd mm -hmm. almost automatically go to the person that was more expensive because I would think that I'm getting the better thing mm -hmm. instead yeah, of the you would be correct. lesser expensive thing. Mm -hmm. And so at $20, which is less than half of everyone else's online services, it feels like, Oh Lord, please just still be good and solid. I know we're not going to have voice chat and I know there's a bunch of, Things that they're not offering that some of these other, um, you know, what Sony and Microsoft offer. Mm -hmm. um, but they are doing the vault of classic NES games, which is fun, and adding online functionality to all the games that's coming. And oh, so wow. that's fun. Um, ah, 
you know, you still got to chat through that smartphone app, which I will not be doing. But wasn't right. there some game? I don't shoot. I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was. I don't know that it was Fortnite, but there was some game that came out where they had just native chat within the game where you didn't have to use this the dumb app. Wasn't there? Not too long ago. You know, so, I don't know wait. about that. And I wonder if games are able to do that within themselves and totally forego. Yeah, I mean, it feels like that would be the way for the developers to do it if your game is like a multiplayer type thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So I don't know, man. This uh you'll get um cloud backups. We've talked about that before, uh, because there's no way to do that right now. Um, so I mean, I'll be getting it twenty dollars for a year. You know, sounds really good, and nobody else is playing my Switch but me, and so I don't need to do the thirty-five dollar one. But you know, just imagine if like it was only twenty dollars more to add Stacy or your 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 significant others onto your PSN. That'd be amazing instead of paying another sixty bucks. You know, right? So I'm glad that they got this. Nintendo knows they're about the family, so I'm glad that they've still made the family membership for up to eight people. Yeah, that's nice. Really uh, affordable. So, which, by the way, the game on the Nintendo Switch that either brought or is about to bring built-in voice chat is uh, Fortnite. Nice. So, yeah. You, so, yeah, so you, you can skip it. over the whole Nintendo app thing. Well, that makes sense. It. That so makes like, a why, lot of but, sense. Like, but why wouldn't they just? Why wouldn't Nintendo just do that? That's a great question. <laughs> I don't know. Especially now that they're about to be getting money for it. Uh, Who knows? Yeah, exactly. Who knows? All right, what else you got? So Sony has announced that it has sold more than 525 <laughs> million PlayStation consoles worldwide since 1994. Mm. And to celebrate that milestone, they're releasing a limited edition 500 million version of the PlayStation 4 Pro. Wow. Um, it's going to cost four, uh, Grand. $500 essentially. <laughs> so it's more than the typical PlayStation 4 Pro. However, it does come with a two terabyte hard drive. It comes with the PlayStation camera. And it comes with the stand so that you can set it up and, and have your console vertical if that's your thing. Um, it's all stylized to look the exact same. And this console looks, I think it looks really good. It's kind of somewhat translucent, but not completely. And it's this dark kind of midnightish blue looking color, which sound doesn't sound like that great. But when you see it in person, it actually looks really good. They're also, mm, yeah. the DualShock 4 is going to be stylized the same way. And they are going to also sell a uh, matching gold wireless headset. That's again styled the same way. It's not part of the bundle. It's just like a hey, if you want to buy this headset as well, it's styled the exact same way as the rest of your stuff. And they did confirm as well that they are going to sell the DualShock Four separately. And I actually think I'm going to get one because I think it looks really, really wait, cool. wait, 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 wait. Oh, yes. oh, you're not saying if you buy the console, it doesn't come with a controller. You're just saying the yeah, controller. Yeah, it, it comes also with the controller. Is, it comes yeah. with the camera and the vertical stand. And the gold headset is not does not come with the console, but they're going to sell one that's stylized the same way. But they're also going to sell oh, the cool. limited edition DualShock Four in that stylization. I like separately. it separately. Yeah, I like it because I'm not going to buy this PlayStation Four Pro because I already have one. But I would yeah. totally buy this DualShock Four. What's that little goldy piece on there? Does that do anything? I, I don't think so. I don't actually don't have the picture of it pulled up at the moment. So oh, okay, sorry. There's like yeah, this I'm, little gold strip on the bottom right. And it kind of looks like it should do something, but I don't know if it actually does. <laughs> Let funny. me see. Tell me, Google. Oh, yeah, I think that's just a stylized piece. I don't, I don't think it. I don't think it's like a button or anything. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. it just goes with the theme. I, I don't know what it means. I mean, <laughs> yeah. maybe that's the symbol for five hundred million. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Um, it looks cool for sure. Yeah, I think it looks really. And actually, there's there's some people like in our Discord and other places that are all hyped about the Spider Man PS4 Pro, and then a couple of them like shoot. Should yeah, I cancel exactly. mine and go get yeah. this one instead? <laughs> get the limited edition 500 PS4 Pro. Yeah, I don't know. That's hard. Which one would you get, Chris? If you were between the two, if you had the money to blow, I would get the. I would get this one probably. I mean, right? Yeah. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of. It's not exactly gold, but it's like a mix between gold and copper. It seems. I don't know for sure. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish that was silver instead. I I would like that more. But the blue part, which is the vast majority of it, I think it looks awesome. Mm. Yeah. So how much is the Spider-Man bundle? I think it's the same. Well, uh, it's closer to the same price of a regular PS4 Pro, but because it's bundled with the game, I think it's a little more expensive, but I don't know off the top of my head. Because here's the thing. Yeah. Two terabyte. Uh-huh. That's already going to be better, right? Yeah, because all every other version of the... PS4 Pro that you can get. I think they're only the maxed out at one. I think. 
I mean, the vertical stand, which I know to them is only like 75 cents, but you know, <laughs> right. that's kind of nice. Uh, I don't know. Ah, doggone it. That's the toss up, man. Cause that Spider-Man logo just looks so dope on the side of that thing. Mm -hmm. But translucent, see through it, see the little fans working and everything. So you can see the moment it overheats. <laughs> And this one, I mean, my understanding is this one's going to be in more limited supply than even the the most of the other ones. I don't know about the 20th anniversary one. That one may be similar to this one. So, I mean, if you're the collector type, there's that aspect as well. But it's a bit more to, rare than the Spider-Man I was about one, to say, I like, I, part of me wants to, I, I can't buy it. I don't have the money, but get it and just leave it in the box. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, like 10 years from now, it'll will, be worth I a little something. I will say this, something. that... I don't even know if Death Stranding is going to come out on PS4 anymore, but if it yeah. does and they release a PlayStation 4 Pro Death Stranding branded one, it's going to be really hard for me to not buy that and just put it on a shelf. Mm, right? Mm-hmm. Well, hopefully by then we're friends with Kojima and he just sends you one. Yeah, oh, like, oh, be nice. Gabe was yeah. in my most recent game, so since you're a friend of his, <laughs> <laughs> I, will, right? I will give you this oh, as a gift. Gosh. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Kojima-san. Yes, Thank you, Gabe, right. for knowing me. Hey, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's a family affair. Um, That's right. I wanted to bring this to the forefront just because we are huge advocates of uh, these games, and also we love charity. So the Humble Bundle is, oh, yes. is, is doing You Don't Know Jack, the Jack Party Humble Bundle uh, this month. It's got 13 days left, and you get 12 games for $12 pretty much. It's so, a, they, that's so cool. It's a bundle. That's huge. Yeah. So you get Quiplash, Fibbage XL, You Don't Know Jack Volume 1, You Don't Know Jack Volume 2. These are very old games. Mm -hmm. These are like back with me and Edward hanging out. Those. Yeah. Uh, you get the Jackbox Party Pack, Jackbox Party Pack 2, which we talk about a lot, obviously. You Don't Know Jack 3, You Don't Know Jack 4, which me and Ed used to play a lot. Mm -hmm. And then if you pay $12 or more, you get the Jackbox Party Pack 3. And Drawful 2. So nice. here's the thing. Hmm. I already own Jackbox Party Pack 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. If for some reason 4 would have been in this party pack, I definitely would have got this. Yeah. But I'm and encouraging anyone who doesn't have any Jackbox anything to go get this bundle. I'm Pay $12 all dollars and get all of it. I'm They're tempted. all like Steam versions, right? Yes, all yeah. Steam. Yeah. Okay. Just because you can't get, you don't know, like, I don't. One, don't, two, three, and four. Yeah, yeah. So I'm tempted just to get the old ones. Yeah, uh, probably so true, good. yeah. So good. And I mean, and all these games are good. Drawful 2 is worth $12 by itself. Mm -hmm. And so to be able to get that and uh, 11 other ones, which I don't know if you'll, I don't know that you don't know Jack 1, 2, 3, and 4 have staying power. Yeah, but if you like trivia, they're fun, but they're not going to be things that you sit around and play over and over again. But the party packs do have staying power. Right. Like I've I've got the first one because that's the only thing I have a drawful on, mm -hmm. and I mean that by itself is worth it. Yes. Mm -hmm. So which of which of the party packs Ed to you is the weakest, and which is the strongest? Wow, that's. There's usually one game in each pack that never gets played. Um, That's right. Yeah. Like but Word Spud in Word the first Spud, one. Yeah. Lie Bid Slaughter. Bidiots. Um, I'm not a big fan of the whatever the sound one is. I mean, oh, it's okay, Earwax. Right. But I, I get bored of that pretty quick. Yeah, I don't know. I usually play three and four online just because you can censor. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so I don't know. Um, it's been a while since I've looked at How was two. Bomb Core? I, I liked Bomb corpse that was i played that two. only like one person player and i enjoyed it i don't know how it's played in a group setting so mm. i never tried that with a group we played a lot of jackbox at episode 300 and oh, episode man. 200 right yeah i think we played even more at 200 yeah and it was a good time so we didn't so have any e3 fun. to watch <laughs> yeah exactly know, right and there and um the you don't know jack people jackbox announced that five is coming out Jackbox yeah. Party Pack 5. And that made me just a little disappointed that 4 wasn't in this Humble Bundle. <laughs> mm, I was like, oh, right. man. <laughs> but uh, listen, 
It's for charity. They're amazing games. If it's just for the party packs, you're getting an amazing deal to pay twelve dollars. Oh yeah, definitely. I think I paid twenty or more dollars for party pack one and two. Mm-hmm. Yep. So go get it. So I saw much that they fun. Sold uh, last night. They posted a tweet saying that they'd already sold ten thousand. Yeah, that's right. And so, oh, awesome. Mm-hmm. I like it. Right. Uh, Chris, what else you got? So Discord is launching, or maybe they've already launched. I I'm not 100% sure, but they're launching a storefront. Hmm. Basically oh, to yeah. kind of compete with Steam. I saw that. They had come out and said that we'll be launching a curated game store experience, similar to one of those from your in the weird Discord way that they say things, similar to your cozy neighborhood bookshop and recommendations on the hottest new games from us to you. They said they currently have publishers like THQ and Deep Silver on board, which, you know, are not... They're not the most massive developers or publishers, but they are pretty mm. big, you know, and they've got some good games that people out there really love. They also are going to be open up the door to indie games, and they're gonna you're going to be able to do them, uh, like search through all these different kinds of indie games that are going to be offered on there. I think you can self-publish on there as well. Yeah. Uh, and they're also going to introduce another feature that will basically let you launch any game from within Discord. So basically, if you so for instance, if you were going to play um, like Hearthstone. Well, Hearthstone runs through a Blizzard launcher, but from within Discord, you can say, I want to play this game, and it'll boot the launcher and then boot the game for you. So hmm. it's just one less step that you have to go. It's still, it now narr- or brings it all down to even one more, just one place where you don't have to go open up a separate launcher and then click on start the game. It'll just launch it all right there from within Discord. Yeah. So it, they've already yeah, had for a good while now where already. they would show what games you're playing, and they, they added in the ability to show what games you're playing on Xbox, uh, I don't think it works on PlayStation at the moment. So the fact that they just keep adding more and more and more to Discord all the time, I feel like it just constantly gets better and better. So that's right. I ain't got no problem with them launch, trying to dabble in their hands and you know a storefront, and and maybe they can offer even better deals. It feels like there'll be some weird place between Steam and GOG where I I don't know that the games will be heavily DRM'd, but at the same time it has the convenience of a of like a Steam storefront, but without all the weirdness that steam can come along, come along with steam so huh there you I, go i don't think it's out yet i don't see a date on this article as to when it's going to happen but they do have the game launchers out. going on oh they do that's that mm-hmm. part has been implemented yeah okay mm-hmm. cool and they are uh, gonna they're gonna try to have also with in doing this game front or this storefront um they are gonna try to have like a first on discord where they're gonna temporarily pay for like a timed exclusivity window for like indie games and whatnot they said it should never last really more than like 90 days, but just to help kind of get, you know, some attention on their side. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, my last story is uh, actually, it's not my last one, but it can be. Um, I just thought it was funny. There's a there's a, a grandfather. In Taiwan. Yes. Did you see this guy? Yeah, mm-hmm. they call They call him Uncle Pokemon. I don't know how to say his real name. Chin San Yan. Is what I'm going with. Wow. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> Send the hate mail to Gabe at MarriedToTheGames.com. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, 70 years old, lives in yeah, Taiwan. He is, he's attached 11 phones to his bike so he could stroll around and play Pokemon Go. Hmm. And he also has a bag of batteries <laughs> that he carries around with him. Unbelievable. So he, he can play. It's just he's just the cutest thing on the planet. Just the that bag he's got of batteries is to beat off the people trying to steal his phones. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Get out of here, young stop work hard for this phone. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh I just thought it was hilarious that he's got all these phones. And I don't know why it took me so long to see this story, but it's really funny looking seeing him with all these phones riding around. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I love that. Um, let me throw this in there real quick. Epic Games uh, has started the guys behind the Unreal Engine. Mm-hmm. They've started a platform to teach people to use the Unreal Engine. It's called the Unreal Engine Online Learning. And it's a home series of video tutorials and training materials split into a bunch of different tracks. And it includes game development, architecture, industrial design, and media entertainment. And so... Um, it just kind of helps you sort out through some of the content so you can learn different job roles um, as far as designing and programming um, with, along with the video tuto- tutorials. It, start, it goes from getting started to master. And so I thought this was really cool just for those that are 
tinkering around at home. Unreal Engine is super strong. Obviously, there's so many games um, built on it, and mm-hmm. it's evolved over time. So it's not like it's just been caught back. Like we made mm-hmm. this thing, all right, and it still looks crappy. Um, yeah, you know, it's constantly, constantly evolved. Uh, Fortnite's built on, you know, Unreal Engine, um, and so as is PUBG. As is PUBG, exactly. And so, and so there's, there's a wide range right there. Yeah. And I think, uh, and so I just think that it'll be really cool to, I love when things like this make it out into the wild and young people and creatives get can get their hands on stuff like this a little easier and start creating content that, you know, we need that, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I love it. I love it. So that's all I've got. Christopher? The last one that I have, it's just kind of a weird story, but Hi-Rez Studios is going to be splitting into three different teams now. So they're going to have three new studios, if you will. Um, They're going to be Titan Forge Games, Evil Mojo Games, and Heroic Leap Games, which are all goofy weird names. And Hi-Rez Studios, if you're not sure who they are, they are the developer or the studios that are responsible for Smite, Paladins, and now also Realm Royale. Essentially, their their rationale for this is that this way that these three individual teams can focus more specifically, not just on making and updating those three specific games, but focusing more on those communities, and there'll be a little bit less crossover. They're also going to use this opportunity to branch out to some other and create some other little special teams for doing other little games that they'll help try to launch underneath the the Res Studio umbrella. But I I just thought it was I mean it makes sense. And they're goofy names, but I was like, wow, to see one studio basically split out into three to handle these three games prospectively, I I just, that was kind of different. And I had never seen something like that happen before, at least not that I can remember. So I thought that was interesting. Yeah, that is very different names. That's crazy. And the thing about um, high res studios that, you know, other than Smite, like Paladins and to some extent Realm Royale, like they definitely get the whole like, oh my gosh, you just wait for another game to get popular and then you get basically copy it. Yeah. And there's definitely a point to that. But I will say that for the most part, when I've played their games, they always run and they're very polished. They work very well. They oh, may yeah. not be quite as good as the one that they're imitating, well, but they yeah, always sure. are very solid. So <laughs> there's good that on them, I guess, that they're good at ripping people off <laughs> and doing a good job about it. Jeez, <laughs> I, I can't wait to play their upcoming game, Spader Man, with James Spader. <laughs> <laughs> Spider Man, Spider Man, <laughs> friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Golly, the blacklist. <laughs> uh, I would actually play that. <laughs> I would play Spider Man. I would too. I think I would too. Absolutely. I would not play that. <laughs> but I would you love just... hearing you guys play it. Oh man, that'd be awesome. Edward, yes, word. What you got for us, brother? <laughs> What you think about that aggressiveness? Like, I think I just got challenged to a fight. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't quite know what to do with that uh, one. Oh, guys, take my YouTube. <laughs> take my YouTube top 10. <laughs> yeah, Spader Man, please. Where is my friendly neighborhood, Spader Man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. But over on the. Uh, Nobody could tell what his logo is in the clouds. They're like, is that a guy sitting on a chair or. <laughs> is that a fedora or what's going on <laughs> uh over on the youtube channel new this week uh we have uh, a little bit more of the forza horizon 2 um oh yeah not played... four <laughs> not for and four that's right <laughs> uh i forgot i played dead space 3 yeah i saw that yeah i saw that man what's that going what's going on with that I don't remember a thing about it. There, yeah, there he's it. done with it. He's done with it. <laughs> it was an Ambien game. That's yep. right. <laughs> an Ambien game. Uh, that, that is awesome. Uh, ten minute We Happy Few Uncle Jack Live VR demo is up there. Um, put up a video of me looking at the uh, the new Overwatch Summer Games skins and emotes and intros. So you can see those there. Uh, a little bit of Dead Cells up there as well. So you can check out a little bit of variety. Go. Over there, uh, looking at our top 10 YouTube videos, combining the average watch time and views for the week of August 7th through the 13th. Number mm-hmm. 10, Watch Dogs 2, Part 6, Bottom Dollar Complete. Number 9, Dead Cells. There you go. Hey. Welcome to the family. Yeah. 
Number Welcome eight. to the Hugh family. Welcome to the Hugh family. You won't be here long. <laughs> hey. hmm. they, they tend to take up room. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're like eight. the clumps. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Move. <laughs> Move. <laughs> Number eight, Married to the Games, episode 308, Good in a Pinch. Yeah. Number seven, Watch Dogs 2, part 48, Ghost Signals. Yeah. <laughs> Number six, you part seven, yellow. <laughs> Number five, Ori in the Blind Forest, part 14, Thornfelt Swamp. Skeekity, skeekity. <laughs> Number four, Q part 10, University. <laughs> Number three, what have we become? Q part four, pink. Hockey, <laughs> hockey. <laughs> Number two, Watch Dogs 2, part 19, paint job. My, 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 get out of the way. <laughs> Number one, Q part 11, the ending. Blue unicorns unite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> we can't score a goal, but we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> we can't score That's a goal, the tag but line. we're friends. That's the tagline of the show right there. Oh my we can't gosh. score a goal. <laughs> we can't dribble, friends. but we can hug. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh, Louise. <laughs> we can't play soccer, but we can almost stand outside without losing it. <laughs> <laughs> Only almost, yeah. Right. Hashtag my feet hurt. <laughs> That's right. Hashtag I'm wearing my cleats upside down. <laughs> <laughs> On the wrong foot. That's right. <laughs> oh shoot. Did we get any uh reviews, ratings? Gabe, we did. We did? We what? did. Ooh. Hit it. Yay. Here's one with the headline. Best podcast ever. I want to join it. Oh. Nice. J taking Money. applications. I know we were taking applications. <laughs> well, you did it. We are for intro the show. Yeah, you are leaving, you know. Oh, that's right. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. That's right. My last week, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is by J Money Sodia. Oh, yeah. Married. Do you have kids and a nine to five? Mm hmm. But you still love games. Mm. Then this podcast is for you. <gasps> These guys are great. You. Yeah. I love hearing them talk about the different style of games they all like to play and the different types of gamers they each are. Mm. We are all busy, and I would love to have more time to research what good games to buy, so I love that these guys do that for us. Yeah. Being husbands and dads, we're all on a budget, so when I buy a game, I want it to be worth my money, and I don't want to pay full retail for games. Hey. These guys do an outstanding job of telling you what's on sale, what will be on sale, and what's worth buying. I'm currently going back and listening to all the past episodes. Oh, and I'm, snap. <laughs> I'm loving every one of them, <laughs> especially since all the old games they mention are really cheap or even free now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> exactly. I like that it's all coming back to that budget. That's right. I know, isn't that great? Mm -hmm. I emailed them. All around a budget. And they even shouted me out on the next week's podcast. Look at that. Hey, We're all see? inclusive. Thanks, guys. Love these guys. Keep doing what you're doing. This show is so next level. Jason G. Nice. Hey, nice. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Oh, perfect. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. The headline, Xbox One. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is this by, a one-star review? Now I'm scared. Uh, by XXJPG0730XX. Hey, he's not getting hacked into. <laughs> nope. <laughs> if you're looking for a Xbox, an Xbox podcast, this is... <laughs> Probably not the best podcast yeah, for exactly. you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you might have came to the wrong place. Yeah, probably. But I listen because you can tell the guys care about each other, gaming, and the community. I do love you guys. They are so funny and have me LOL at work. I cannot wait for the next new show. For the next show, keep up the good work, guys. Take that dust off the Xbox, and you might be surprised how much the hardware and software have been drastically improved. <laughs> <laughs> Since the blades in Peace. Xbox 360. <laughs> hey, listen, my Xbox One is the is doing what they wanted it to do. It is the center of my media. Yeah. And everything we do, the mm -hmm. YouTube, the Netflix, yep. all of it is going through the Xbox in my main living room. And I've played Call of Duty on it before. <laughs> Ooh, I've uh, I've go. definitely dabbled much more not recently but of late well, like because I got the Games Pass thing and so I've downloaded a few games and I did grab um, Forza Horizon 2 and I've been wanting to jump in I just 
But H1Z1, man, got its hooks. And then Detroit exactly. trying to get it finished. I'm just like, man, come on. I got these other games to play. So mm-hmm. I'm definitely going to be dabbling back into it a little bit more. For and sure. I just found, I didn't want to say this because I was embarrassed. Uh-oh. But I did find my Quantum Break disc because the kids had hidden it from me somewhere. Ah. And as Ooh. we were unpacking last night, or you know, packing up the office, <laughs> I found it. So I was like, ooh, I want to play some Quantum Break. Mm-hmm. Let's hide this so Daddy will pay attention to us. Well, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was more that they He's always gone. The, they switched the game out from and put it in the Just Dance box. Oh, oh right. And so I was just been ah, thinking nice. it was just pretty sneaky. Just Dance 2015 this whole time. Gotcha. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I, I'm like you, Gabe. I we use the Xbox One for Netflix and Hulu and all that, mm-hmm. and yep. it's primarily what I game on. That's um, right. So, yeah, but we're married yeah. to the games. Not the console, That's true. so That's yeah, true. man. It's true. I'm, I'm, I talk Very more true. about the games than I do what I'm playing it on. But do mm-hmm. know that the Xbox is usually what I play on. There you go. Yeah, and uh, we've got one more review here. Oh Oof. snap! A trifecta. Wow. A trifecta. That's right. Let's go. We got that hat trick of reviews. That's right. <laughs> this one is the subject. My dudes. Hey, that sounds like Eric Thompson. <laughs> it's hell <laughs> wrong. E L wrong. Oh. The wrong. You got Gabe? The underscore wrong. The underscore wrong. That's who I'm suspecting it is. Mm. You got Gabe, the hand model. That's right. Boom. Yes, you do. Tim, older than dirt. That's right. <laughs> Perfect. Yep, yep. <laughs> Sounds Chris, about right. The dancing king. Hey! hey. Dancing and, king. <laughs> and like Ed, that. the rage quit specialist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Age, the rage quit caffeinator. That's right. What's not to love? <laughs> exactly. And that's the end of the review. I love that's it. Perfect. Yes. Done. <laughs> done and done. That if is. If I perfect. read that review, I'd have to download the podcast for sure. I'd be like, oh, okay, what are they talking about? Hand model, right? Uh-huh. Was this review helpful? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everyone for writing those reviews. It really yes. does mean yeah. a lot. Those are fantastic. That. Thank you. That's right. That's right. It helps us in a way that we don't understand, but mm-hmm. we appreciate it nonetheless. Yes. Oh, snap. What am I supposed to do? Questions now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure. Gabe? Every week. <laughs> exactly. Well, He's every- leaving. He checked out. Yeah, I'm not even going to be on this show next week, so I'm not even really worried about it. <laughs> Heck with you guys. Yeah, That's exactly. right. You guys got it from here. I've taught you well, my young Padawans or however that works. <laughs> Is that right? Is that how you say it? You that? got it. Yeah, yes. oh, okay. Young Padawan. Okay, great. Um, so every week we ask you guys a question. Last week was no different. Mm. We asked you guys, what's your ultimate just one more game? Mm. And you have to say it like that with strain in your voice or you don't really mean it. <laughs> St- uh, starting over on Facebook, mm. we got Nathaniel Ingberg. I get serious one more time. T- one more Titus, one more Itis when I'm playing Breath of the Wild. Mm. Whenever I'm exploring that world, there's always just one more thing I want to do before going to bed. And then another hour goes by. Yep. I know that's right. So true. Caitlin Chelsoy, just about every game I start playing yeah. and like. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, that's funny. Travis Pospisil. It has to be Destiny now. Hard to put the controller down when my peeps are on. Back a few years, uh, it would have been Skyrim. Such a great game with so many yeah. secrets. Mm. Yep. I always forget, Tim, that you played Skyrim. That's I don't know oh. why that's such a weird game for me that you played. 90 hours of Skyrim, definitely. Mm-hmm. That is so crazy to me. Over on Twitter, Jeremy at Jeror45, either XCOM or Diablo. I've come back to Diablo 3 more than any other game I have ever played. Wow. Interesting. Right? That's what I thought, too. John Wall at Walnut 77, Rock Band. Mm. Ah, you don't hear that often. That'd be fun. Like, That's ooh, awesome. just one, one more song. What song you guys? Come on. Exactly. Rob S. at the only, at the one and only, at the one and only. PUBG. This game is... yeah. This game is last gen ugly and janky <laughs> as they come. But that <laughs> last gen ugly. <laughs> but that but that gameplay loop is undeniable. 
I can't quit till I get that finger licking chicken dinner. Mm. Try your hand at H1 if you get a PS4 because it's not that much prettier, but it runs a heck of a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know what he's playing it on. He could it's be true. playing it on PC. Well, that's yeah, that's true. Well, they have H1 on PC. I just don't know how it goes. I can't. No, but I'm saying, I, yeah, I don't, yeah, that's true. I need to get a shirt that's, that just says Last Gen Ugly on it. That <laughs> yeah, is that's funny. good. That's a great Last phrase. Last Gen Ugly. That is yep. a really great face. I've never heard that before. Last Gen Ugly. Uh, over on Discord, Mark Boucher, for me recently, it's been PUBG. It's easy to jump into another possible 20 to 30 minute game when you mm-hmm. die in the first five minutes. Very oh, no, true. That's, right. that's yeah. so true. That it, we because you start it up and die, and you're like, oh, one more, and then you play one more, and that one's 45 minutes long. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, here we go. Jared Orr. Not to be confused with Jeror. <laughs> <laughs> it's new, but Dead Cells has totally been Ooh. that just one more game for me. It's hard to stop. Yeah, it is. Eric Thompson, Overwatch. A lot. Of Overwatch. I also started playing Fallout Shelter, but that's more like just one more hour instead of just one more match. Right. Mm. But mostly Overwatch. I love that. Uh, B Dog 1221, Rocket League and Overwatch. Easy. I know that's right. Right now you can combine those with Lucio Ball. Oh, that's right. I didn't like that when I played that the first time around. No, but I I did play it, mm-hmm. um, Mister Not So Kosher. I think for me, it's the type of game that gives you unlimited chances or lives, like Super Meat Boy or Rayman uh, or Rogue Legacy. If you haven't played this one, please do yourself a favor for me. No questions asked. Video games. I actually loved Rayman. I played Rayman a bunch and Super Meat Boy. When I see my slow progression is mastering a level, knowing that I almost have it. It's so hard to resist. With Mm -hmm. other games, usually when my wife needs me for that honeydew list, like washing the dishes or fixing something, give me a minute, dear. Just one more. Mm -hmm. 20 minutes later, comes with that death stare, and I burst into flames. Yeah. I know that's right. I like it. Thank you, guys. Yep. Sounds exactly right. I got to get to a save point. As you're saving your game. (laughs) Yep. I meant the next save point. Thank you guys so much for the answers. Uh, you know where to find us, facebook.com slash married to the games. Come join the group, the MTTG community. Married to the games, uh, or on Twitter, twitter.com slash MTTG cast, married to the games.com. Like Ed said, youtube.com slash married to the games. Now on Patreon, patreon.com slash MTTG. If you want to come support the show. And uh, we want to start shouting back out Extra Life because that's going to yes. sneak up on us before we know it. Yes, sir. Extra-life.org slash team slash MTTG. We're going to start pushing that heavy maybe in the next month or so to uh, do this 24 hours of gaming and um, come support these kids. About the kids, right, guys? Kids. About the kids. Right. And uh, Router. Rate us on iTunes so Lil Rash, Lil Ginger, Lil Crucible, and Lil Clem can all record their debut album, Blue Unicorn, at Noodle Cake. That <laughs> noodle cake. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm not sure we'd have a Tanglewood up in there. Hey, that's yeah, true. Mm-hmm. It's true. That will be our yep. shirts straight out of Tanglewood. Six, Sixteen bit Tanglewood. Whoop de woo, Tanglewood. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> let's get into some questions. We're going to start with Discord. We're going to start with our boy Eric Thompson. Borrowing from another podcast, the Ultimate Video Game Trilogy, here is your objective. Build the ultimate video game trilogy using any video games. The rules. All three video games must have the numbers 1, 2, and 3 in the title of the game. The only exception being that you don't have to have a number 1 in the first game's title if you know it is the first in a franchise. Here is an example. Destroy All Humans, Half-Life 2, Far Cry 3. Looking forward to hearing your answers. I feel like this is a puzzle all of a sudden. 
It's like a logic puzzle. Yeah. yeah. Uncharted one, two, three. <laughs> Yay! Perfect. <laughs> Does that work? Yeah, man. That's a, that totally works. None of those That's have the numbers video. one, two, and three in them, though. Is he saying uh, Jackbox th- Party Pack one, two, three? <laughs> there, there you go. go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, That's it's not a Uncharted. Hard one. It's not Uncharted two. No, I think I don't. Are, is it called Uncharted two? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah it is Uncharted two and three. But oh, are they? Is there any game yep. that says blah 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 part one? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Does any I, of them? Nope. I, oh, you guys are right. It is Uncharted two. It doesn't have colon, to be one. Because uh, it's, the, it's the first in the franchise. Okay. Middle Gear so, Solid one two three. <laughs> oh my this game is easy. Yeah, Super Mario yeah, right? Brothers. One, two, three. Nice. <laughs> oh, Eric, you knew what you were getting into on this one, bro. <laughs> it's, it's, it's six o'clock in the morning. I know, right? right? What are you doing? They've what already built a great trilogy for us. Why should I have to build one? <laughs> Jeez. So, wait, just so I can understand exactly the rules. He's wanting us to put together three different games, but each of them has to have a number in the title. Just yeah, just build the ultimate video game trilogy using any video games, but it has to have for the second one it has to have a two or a three. The first one can be like the uh, the origin or like the original first in a franchise. So really, you don't have it's to have. it's really that we're just picking the best of trilogies. Yes, but you have to. Yeah. So like we would say, um, so we would say like Uncharted Two would be the second one, but then maybe right. the third one would be something like. Uh, Far Cry Three, exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. Ah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll, okay. I'll I'll try again here. Here we go, Chris. Uh, you got Overwatch. It. Yes, I'm down for that. Black Ooh, Ops all right. Two. Okay. And shoot. But does Battlefield Overwatch count 3. since it wasn't in a trilogy? Yeah. No, that's yeah, fine. It doesn't it have be... to be in a trilogy. Oh, you're it just doesn't. Build, no. You're just yeah, building the first... a trilogy of oh, okay. three amazing yeah. games. It can be the first. It can be the first in a franchise. But two and three have to be part of a trilogy because they have to have two and three in them. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Uh, what was your third one? Isn't there? I said Battlefield 3. Isn't there a Battlefield 3? The crazy thing is, there's actually a Battlefield 1. So I should have done that one to start with. I know. And there's a Battlefield 1. Um, I think yeah. It was Bad Company. I'll go with Super Mario World. Oh, no, it wasn't. For the first one. I'm going to stick with Uncharted 2 because mm-hmm. I feel like it was a game changer. And I'll go with. Uh, Gosh, I'll go with Mass Effect 3. Oh, nice. Mm. There you go. I like that. Because I like all three of those games a lot. Nice. Uh, Tim, uh, do you want to uh, try it? <laughs> I got it. Oh, go Tim, you got, got it. Go ahead. I've got The Last of Us. Yeah. Ooh. Uncharted 2. Yep. The Witcher 3. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's a good trilogy, too. Those are all heavy those hitters. Are, are so heavy hitters, enjoy. Yeah. See you in three years. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> when the next console comes out. Exactly. Right. Ed, do you have, you want to try it? Uh, I'll do uh, Space Ace. Yes. Okay. Oh, nice. Dragon's, Dragon's Lair, Lair 2. 2. That's <laughs> Dragon's right. Dragon's Lair 2. Yeah, there you, you go. You doggone right. There you go. And Jackbox Party Pack 3. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'll it's go with the that partial one. Don Bluth trilogy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. No, oh, that's okay. Good. That came together. Yeah, that uh-huh. somehow that all came together. I thought yeah, it was gonna man. be a hot, sweaty yeah. mess, but Am- we did it. Amari right. came up and was talking to me during the instructions, so I missed the whole thing. So I was. It's all good. It's all good. You recovered late. beautifully. Thanks. All right, let's let's move on. Putty today. Have you guys ever made modifications to a console slash accessories? Not necessarily modded, as in circuit boards and soldering, but uh, even swapping out controller shells and buttons, etc. No, I've only homebrewed. I think I homebrewed my. We and my PSP. Ed homebrews daily. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Yes. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Lordy. He said my name. Uh, <laughs> he said my and name. And what I do. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, mine is no, whatever the default is. Yeah, whatever, exactly. the whatever the Good default Whatever the default is. Lord. Chris, have you? You you uh, have your controller uh, all yeah, Frankenstein. Yeah, I put out. on every single DualShock Four that I have had. I take it, and the first thing I do is rip it apart and put Xbox Xbox One sticks on. There you go. Oh, mm-hmm. nice, Edward. I don't see you doing these things. 
Uh, well, let me prove you wrong. Yeah. Ooh. I plugged in a hard drive. Oh, to each bam. Of them. There you go, baby. Oh, you plugged in a hard is. drive to what? To the, the PS4 and the Xbox One. <laughs> That's not modding. Yeah, man. That's what they're made to do. <laughs> You're made to do that. <laughs> That's, That's like saying you plug the controller in. <laughs> oh, well, then no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, you'd be happy to know that I plugged this in because it's doing its job. <laughs> I, I modded where I save my game. <laughs> yeah. I no, think it counts. Count. I'm going to let it slide. Yeah, I'll let How it slide. How does that I'll count when it. it's made to do that? That's I'll like saying I plug, well, it, I plug my connector. I know, but he's using an external drive. Well, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Bruce oh, Daly. Man. <laughs> <laughs> streaming on twitch right now oh my gosh my stomach hurts that is funny blue, blue unicorns <laughs> let me prove you wrong i plugged in an external hard drive to where the external hard drive goes plugged in i rest my case <laughs> where, <laughs> the fence rests. where it says external hard drive i just plugged it into the external exactly. hard drive exactly exactly what it told me to do modding 101 <laughs> Exactly. Oh Lord! <laughs> Sit down, Matt Lighty. Uh, I got straight this. Straight hackers. <laughs> exactly. That's right. Ed's Ed's modded every IKEA desk he's ever bought. He's like, <laughs> exactly. Okay, I put the screw in here. Put the legs on it. <laughs> and modding, baby. I put a lamp on just, top. <laughs> <laughs> modded. <laughs> modded. At my hashtag mod life. That's perfect. All right. IKEA hacks. Oh, here we gosh. go. Uh, Don Star Lancer. If you were a Jedi. Would you use a single blade, double blade, or two sabers? What? what would the color be? <laughs> also, what would your top two signature force powers be? Oh, come on, man. For, That's too many questions. For router, what was Yoda like as a kid? That's funny. I would have a single blade. It would be blue. Um, I don't know what my force top powers. two signature force, force powers would be. Yeah, I don't be. know what that would be. I'd uh I'd have the purple lightsaber that Samuel L. Jackson had. Yeah, you would. Yes, you would. But you would never see it because my force powers would be on fleek, and so I really wouldn't need to use the <laughs> lightsaber. Be on what? Your force powers would be on fleek. That's right. That's your force power to be on fleek. <laughs> yeah, they'd be on fleek. Um, and okay. so I'd 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 use uh that hologram thing that Luke is using nowadays. Okay. And um. Yeah, some kind of like a shove or push. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. You got to have that. Yep. But don't they all have that? Sure, but it'd be yeah. one of the top two that I use. Oh, okay. I, when it said signature, <laughs> I thought, you know, something wham, bam. and you. Oh, I got you. Something like different mm -hmm. than maybe not every Jedi has. But, and man, I'm, I'm down for whatever. You, you go yeah, on with your good. fleek self. I don't know. Thank I'm you. Down, I'm down with the single blade blue... Uh, definitely the force push and the mind control. Oh, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, the mind one is pretty cool. Yeah. And Yoda oh, was Kylo a little... Ren. Yoda was a pain growing up as a kid. He was a problem child. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, he was. You know, getting into stuff. You're like, will you put that ship down? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said something else. I know you did. That's why I said it. Edward? Um. Yeah, I'm like router. I'm going to do the single blade that it'll be blue. And I'll do the mind messing arounds and a slight hover. <laughs> okay, slight hover. I like that. The yeah. just the All just right. just off the ground, mm -hmm. right? Just a little bit, just, not, just yeah. enough, slightly, just enough for mm -hmm. people to say. Just so you know what's happening, right? Just so you know, he just so he doesn't get queasy. Right. <laughs> just for people to not be sure it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> is he? Oh, I think he is. Oh, no. yeah, I think yeah. he is. That's awesome. All right, stump water jack. Mm. Would you rather Road eat crew. a meal? There you go. Would you rather eat a meal that you absolutely despise with a person you admire the most, or eat your favorite meal with the most annoying person ever? Oh, the your first, time, one. Yeah, first one. Your time with the person only lasts as long as the meal. The oh, first yeah, one. Absolutely. First one, yeah. I would yeah, rather the first one. I'd rather eat a meal that I despise with the person I admire because I'd probably be talking to that person more than eating, so I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah. there's nothing in the rule set that says you have to finish the meal. You just got to take right. a bite exactly. or two. Exactly. Boom. Loophole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Good. We're all in agreement. I'm on mm -hmm. the I'm on the road with artists that like to eat like all kind of crazy stuff, so I'm often eating things I don't like with people I love. Mm. Oh, there you go. 
That's yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. Love that. Uh, Bad Gamer Elite at T Router. What's your price to play Overwatch with us once a week for a year? Sponsor your PS Plus, new Range Rover, polyp check. Maybe a certain <laughs> scaredy ninja had to play a. Maybe a certain scaredy ninja had to play a horror game. Mm. <laughs> He's on me. Dude, yeah. I'm there. I have Overwatch. I purchased Overwatch. I just play at five o'clock in the morning, and I like I just haven't been able to do it. So yes, I will b gladly play with you at no, at no cost to you <laughs> <laughs> or me. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, I just need a, a time to do it. My my gaming time is just definitely different. But I will say, like on the weekends, I wanted I I want to try to game more. Uh, on the uh, nights on the weekends because that's when everybody's around and I want to be able to, I want to be able to do that I definitely need a time where people can just show me the ropes of overwatch and it's mm -hmm. people that I love people that I enjoy uh not that I didn't last time but like I just need a seriously good like sit down yep all right router you should do this let's do this we'll walk you through this I would probably feel a lot better and I guarantee you I would probably be more hooked on it if if it went that way mm-hmm so we'll have to make that happen. Yeah, man. Mm. I mean, because I'm I'm a huge fan of Blizzard. I'm a huge fan of... You're talking of... too much. You're not going to do it. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's trying to convince himself. Yeah, he's like, he's good. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. tell the convincing of yourself is, is happening. I, I really like yeah. the little shorts. <laughs> My rash just got a little bit redder. <laughs> I'll play once they introduce the blue unicorn. <laughs> Exactly. That's next, baby. <laughs> that shoots his little right. horn as a missile launcher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Now that I weaseled my way out of that one, exactly. Facebook, Eric Cruzen, here we go. <laughs> Just had a major failure at my new job the other night, and it's mm. been bugging me so bad because I know I'm better than that, and I don't want to make the same mistakes again. Mm. I'm sure we've all been there. So what have you all done to overcome those adversities, mistakes, and how did you come back from them? You uh, look at it in the face, you tell the truth, and you do better next time. Yeah, it's a mistake, man. How are you going to learn if you don't mm -hmm. make a mistake? You yeah. cannot be perfect. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So learn from it. And honestly, here's the other thing, because I have to do this myself because it's just me. I have to own up to that mistake. I, I see so many times just in corporate culture, everybody puts the blame on somebody else because they don't want the responsibility of it. You own it. A, it makes you an honest person, a better person. Yeah, and man. If you, if you own that, man, then... The next time you make the mistake, like people will actually probably respect you more for it uh, because you're going to make more mistakes. It's not it's not like it's never going to happen again, but own it, man. That's how we learn. This is exactly how you learn. You make mistakes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Tim's clapping over there. You get past me. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking right, about. Man. Come on. I tell you one knee. thing. That's right. <laughs> the you ball goes in the goal. Mama said. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? I think we're all on that same page. Yeah. Know, right? All right. Good. Matthew Serta. <laughs> what was your favorite song as a teenager you had to make sure your mother didn't catch you listening to? Ooh. Ooh. It wasn't a... I mean, I just listened to pop pretty much as a teenager. It was more like Eddie Murphy comedy albums that I had to... Yeah. yeah. That's good. Robin Williams. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Probably Black Sheep for me. I really like yeah, that man. duo and they cursed a lot. Yeah, they did. Chris? Uh, well, I mean, I don't think it, I think it was before I was a teenager. Well, when I think teenager, I think like 15, 16. So I, I may have been like 13 when I first, 12 or 13 when I first started listening to Metallica. And my mom was like, what is this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then so that at the beginning, I would say that she wasn't too keen on that. But then, you know, she came around. There you go. Nice. Tim? So, so before, before my hip hop days, I was kind of a punk kid. So I listened mm -hmm. to like Minor Threat and like all these like mm -hmm. straight edge hardcore bands from New York City and mm -hmm. every other word was a swear word. So And Eve wasn't getting down with that? I mean, Eve was not down with that. So. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, it was good. And then I moved to rap, which is just as, which is more of a lateral move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. And they're like, this is why your brothers killed each other because all this rap <laughs> going on. This is why Cain killed Abel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay uh brian nebel it's the middle of the night and you're having a dream mm. in your dream you tripped and fell off of a cliff as you are falling you realize you are imminently about to splat you brace yourself for the impact and as soon as you hit the rock bottom you immediately sit up wide awake from your dream screaming 
What yeah. did you just scream at your poor, unsuspecting wife in the middle of the night? <laughs> just something that didn't make sense for sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, no! Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I don't Jiminy have crack kind of face. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Oh my God. Blue Jiminy unicorns. Crack face. Yeah. <laughs> Blue, yeah. Blue unicorns. <laughs> Little rashy. <laughs> yeah, that'd be mine. Little rashy. Little rashy, come and get me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. Uh, Juan Garcia from an Xbox guy who has never played a God of War, let alone this year's. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> never played a God of War, let alone this year's. Let alone this year's God of War? God of War. Yeah, let alone this year's God of War. Can you give me your reasons why God of War, a 15 hour and average game, will still be game of the year after Red Dead 2? A game that has just enough polish, yet you can lose yourself in a world for 100 plus hours. <laughs> Would like to get your take. Thanks for all the laughs and great content. Clearly, we're biased here on the old Red Dead 2. <laughs> right? <laughs> but that's, no, that's totally fine. Yeah, I uh, I say, I don't know, 15 hours was perfect. I'm like, I have no desire, and I'll take this one for everybody. I have no desire to play Red Dead at all. None whatsoever. Well, well what's crazy is that we're assuming that it's going to be amazing. Yeah, I, I mean, wait. Red right. Dead could fall flat. It's happened before. It's called the sophomore right, slump. Right, there's right. a even there's a name for second things that don't go well. well this exactly. Is, this is the third red in the Red Dead series. Oh, is this the third one? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The first one didn't okay. technically follow the same story, though, right? It, it had. It, it was really only the first one in naming convention and maybe the world, but it didn't right. follow you know the same gang right, or the Marston right. guy or what. As I understand it, I did not. Follow oh, gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And God of War didn't take me 15 hours. It definitely took me longer because I did everything. I just got so immersed in the game that I it, it's already my game of the year. That's for sure. So, but it, yeah, I mean, you, it, but I think you're comparing apples and oranges too, because Red Dead's going to be huge, like massively huge. And yeah. God of War is, is a lot more linear. To his so point it's, though. It's, to no, his point, I get, yeah, no, I no, no not, about, not even about Red Dead, but. I'm just saying, usually it's easier to remember the thing you just did than the thing you did eight months prior. Mm -hmm. Sure. So I think even when it comes to Oscars and Grammys, the more recent song yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, is you're right. usually always, you know what I'm saying? Like Adele could have an amazing song come out in February, but then if Bruno Mars has an amazing song come out in November, and then you got to vote for between those two songs for the next year. Bruno's going to mm -hmm. win, yeah. Yeah, I think the things is just going to stick with you. So I think the thing that's going to hurt God of War the most is when it came out, not the fact, not the length of the game versus mm -hmm. another yeah. length of the game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the... I like that. So I'll throw my hat in the ring here for this answer. So to me, my game of the year thus far is God of War. Um, and the reason that I would say, well, number one, game length or how long you spend in a game really is irrelevant to the to the question. I mean, granted, mm -hmm. I if, agree. if you're just, yeah. uh, you know, you really, your your thing is open world games where you can spend hundreds of hours doing all kinds of side missions and never ending and everything, then that's awesome. And I'm red dead's going to do great there. While yes, there is the whole software slump. There is no indication or nothing to point to that, to think that red dead is going to be anything short of a great game. I think that we're all pretty much assuming that it's going to be a great game. And until we're proven otherwise, there's no reason. I never not played to the other that. two. And so I, I think that's, that's I did why not I'm, either. I'm so I didn't play Red Dead Redemption, mm. but every, almost everybody who does comes away from that game at least enjoying it. And maybe not everyone loves it to the same extent, but I don't know yeah. anybody who played Red Dead and like, man, that game was horrible. I don't I don't know anybody right. who has said that. I'm sure somebody out there exists, but I have no reason to believe it's going to be a bad game. From a technical standpoint, I think God of War is going to look better simply because it has the advantage of being an exclusive to one console. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. not right. massive. So it's yeah. going to have that advantage between the two. That being said, they're both going to be beautiful looking. The reason why, mm -hmm. in my yeah. opinion, God of War, even though I, because I do think I'm planning to get Red Dead Redemption 2 because I, I saw the gameplay trailer. I was like, three. finally, they show me something. I want to see what this is all about. <laughs> and honestly, it's the only game, in my opinion. Red Dead 3. What? Right. Well, but it's called Red, Red Dead, Dead Redemption 3, but 2. but it's really 2. Yeah, it's called oh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Is the, the first name one was Red Dead, Re Red Dead Revolver. Oh, yeah, the I'm first so game confused. was Red Dead Revolver, then Red Dead Redemption, and now the prequel Red to Red Dead 2. Redemption is Red Dead Redemption 2. Anyways, that's a side oh, note. Okay, okay. The thing about Red Dead yep. Redemption is, while I have no doubt it's going to be a great game and it's going to have vast improvements over the first one, it's just a lateral move with a few upgrades. Maybe the systems are upgraded. Mm -hmm. 
God of War completely reinvented not only the way yes. that it shot, yep. its combat system, point. went to an entire new mythology and yep. did it excellently. To mm -hmm. me, Great point. that trumps whatever Red Dead Redemption 2 does on paper at the moment, not having played it. Once I play it, my opinion could change because That's as great, great as point. it's going to be, it's red. It's more Red Dead Redemption. And I'm not saying that as a knock because I'm one of those guys that play Call of Duty every year. And while, yes, I can make arguments that there was iterations and things changed for the most part, Call of Duty is Call of Duty every year. I'm not expecting right. Red Dead Redemption to be any different than the, the another version, another Wild West version of GTA. It's going to have the same types of things. Right. Now, if it completely reinvents itself in some way that I don't know of from all the gameplay and, and footage that we've seen so far, then I will eat my words. But at the moment, God of War was a complete reinvention that was unprecedented and unheard of for a franchise that had already sold really well in a huge risk, and it paid off tenfold, in my opinion. Absolutely. So to me, yeah. that point. is why yep. that game easily at the moment stands above everything else, including Red Dead Redemption 2. But... yeah. From outlets, I fully think that Red Dead's probably going to, like you said, the whole, like, the what have you done for me lately or what have I played lately? I feel like it's going to get a huge boost from that on top of the fact that I have no doubt it's going to be a great game. It, it's hard because go. we haven't played Red Dead. Yes. So it's hard to say this is the reason why this or that. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge Red Dead fan, and I, I, I'm definitely looking forward to this game. I can't wait to play it. I, I know I'm going to love it. I want to I hope I love it. Um, and I had never played any, I knew nothing about God of War. And mm. so when I played this God of War, I loved it. I had a blast mm -hmm. with it. I had a great time. Mm -hmm. I don't know, even though as much as I love Red Dead, if someone has never played a Red Dead game, I don't know that they will like it as much as I liked God of War never having played it. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah. Just you think because, it's because it's more contained or... And I and I had never played yeah. anything like God of War before. Where I feel like with Red Dead, you're if you'd never played Red Dead before, I, it still might You've be very easy to like be it. like, yeah, I, I've been, I've, I know, I get this, I, I've done this before. Mm. So I don't, but again, I don't know. The game's not out, so hard to call. You know, it, yeah. it's it really kind is. of it, it's. You were saying the opposite of what I'm about to say, but for him, because he's never played the other ones, the whole like, oh my gosh, they reinvented the game and and the gameplay, not just how it is, but the mythology and how it plays and the combat and everything. That's to someone Ball like flat. him who's never played the others, that's kind of maybe doesn't matter because it's yeah. all new to him like you. So I'm mm -hmm. yep. it may not hit home the same way for him that it did for you. And I'm not saying his it would be his if he did go ahead and play it, but as somebody who has played like, I haven't played Red Dead Redemption 2, but I don't feel like, oh my gosh, I was really missing out. I need to go play it because it's so different because it's Red Dead, or Red Dead Redemption 2 looks like Red Dead 1, just better, you know, prettier, mm -hmm. polished, mm -hmm. more things to do, probably new systems yep. and things, but it doesn't seem like flipping things on its head necessarily. But I don't know until we play, like you said, we, yeah. I could totally be blown away and be like, wow, I'm going to eat every one of those words I said back in August. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. never know. It's really. like judging the, the great steak you had last week to the one mm -hmm. you're about to get served and it's exactly like, i can't yeah. compare them yet <laughs> yeah right yeah from two different yeah, yeah. places mm -hmm. there you go yeah that makes sense good stuff that is a fantastic question juan thank you yeah that, that was a really good question mm -hmm. yeah it's really good uh moving on to twitter tim paulin oh ed this is all you what is your favorite weird al song <laughs> Ooh. oh it's game yeah it's edward Gabe. oh man i don't know i you know, I really like word crimes right now. The parody of blurred lines, just because I like the oh, lines that's that, a go, good one. that go really fast. And yep. I'm also sort of kind of a grammar stickler. So that one's kind of fun. Shoot. I haven't listened to Weird Al in so long. I don't long. honestly know that I can say one. No, me neither. I like the one that Ed said. I like Eat It. I like um, yeah. Amish Life. Yeah. Or whatever. I was about was. to say Amish, Amish Paradise. Paradise. Amish I loved Paradise. all the I loved all the um drama surrounding that. <laughs> yes. Yes. And so that's what made yeah. that one my favorite because I was like, oh snap, Weird Al like is in a beef with a rapper. <laughs> like yeah. that's weird. Which is hilarious. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's so funny. I'm and the the this here Anakin guy, maybe Vader someday oh, later. Yeah. But oh, for yeah. now, small fry. Smart I remember that. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That one. Yeah. That's a really good one. And I remember that that song came out before that movie did. And yeah. people were like, how did you know all these details? <laughs> and he was like, I have the internet. <laughs> that is funny. That's great. Yeah, I'll, I think uh, eat, 
Eden and Amish Paradise for me too. Those mm, were nice, good stuff. Most popular uh, ones the, too. The Frozen Gamer. Have you ever made a mistake so dumb that you felt like smacking yourself? Last week, I ground some coffee and poured it into the water tank, despite having a filter ready to go. Oh, my God. I think I was thinking about MTTG at the time. So is this an MTTG oops? Or MTTG (laughs) made me, or hashtag MTTG made me do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the oops. That's funny. Yeah, it is funny. (laughs) You just oopsed yourself. Uh Yeah. It happens. People make while listening to the show. Exactly. There you go. Uh, I don't know when the last time I did something like that was, but... There's definitely, I mean, there's been, especially since I build things with, you know, with wood and cutting stuff, like, mm-hmm. I, I feel like there's definitely been times where you, like, screw something in, and you're like, oh, talk on it. Then you got to yeah, unscrew right. it and screw it back in and, you know, flip it around or whatever you had to do. Yep. For sure. Yeah, I did that with a TV mount. I had the the bracket upside down. I had to take them all the, the toggle bolts and everything out and redo it. I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> I hate that. Oh, I, so uh, annoying. So, yeah, is the worst. Yes. All right. Final question at wait, Nate Chris. Did and, you have one? Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. Sorry. Uh, like last time you did just something dumb and you were like, "Dog on it." Shouldn't have done that. I mean, I do things like that all the time. <laughs> They're so frequent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. the same way. Just pick something. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I, I don't know. The other day, I, uh, I picked up my. I have, have I usually seem bring like cuties or like the little easy to peel oranges. And I'm yeah. constantly mm-hmm. oh, eating them delicious. at my desk. The other day, I grabbed one while I was doing something and bit into it, and I hadn't peeled that side. So <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> like, well, that, well done. And I'm not chewing that. <laughs> nope. Well done. That's funny. All right, now we got everybody. All right, final question, Nate Enberg. How do you reward yourself after finishing a big project? Yeah. Beer. Reward you. I, I start the next one. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, that's exactly what I do. Yeah, I'm like, all yeah. right, that's done. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah. Look at it lovingly. All right, here we go. On to the next yep. thing. Yeah, I'm not a big reward yourself guy, I guess. Yeah. Make sure your wife doesn't say, do you need this? <laughs> yeah, she goes, finally. <laughs> yeah, right. Thanks for getting rid of that thingy who that you had. <laughs> there was signed by 12 people that I don't know who they are. <laughs> yep, exactly. but, but we should throw it out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should totally man. get her something signed by somebody and then like a week later be like uh so are we getting rid of this now <laughs> oh yeah, trust right. me there's plenty of things we could throw I'm away sh- at her. sure i'm sure i love that she doesn't listen to the show either we should make her this week it'll be fun <laughs> oh she knows <laughs> oh yeah she knows. <laughs> oh that's awesome yeah man. uh that it? Uh, ed what about oh, ed what about you what do you do after finishing a big project how do you reward yourself? Um, cup of coffee? Cup of coffee. Play a game. Yeah. Ah, I like go. that. Yeah. Love that. It's perfect. Thank you, everybody, for all the questions. Love it, as always. Yes. Appreciate it. Yes. Uh, the question of the week for you guys, I talked about this a couple weeks ago, uh, maybe months ago now. Um, have you ever had a game knock you off track of the game you are currently playing? If you guys remember, I was making my way through Horizon Zero Dawn. Mm-hmm. decided mm-hmm. to start up Zelda and then beat Zelda before even going back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Has there ever been a game that's knocked you off track in the middle of a game you were playing? Chris? I started Detroit, then I started H1Z1, and now I just kind of <laughs> dabble with Detroit <laughs> while I play H1Z1. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Edward? <laughs> um... I think I was playing, uh, not really. I mean, usually it's if a Telltale game comes out, whatever game I'm playing, I'll play the Telltale one because I know it's two hours. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll and go then back. Run back I didn't to really. It. Yep. Yeah. Nothing that I wasn't going to be not playing the game anyhow after a while. Yeah. There you go, Tim. I'm such a linear guy, so I I'm in a completionist, so I usually don't dabble on two games at the same time. So I like to finish mine first. So I don't think any game has done that yet. He's a faithful man. I am. I'm <laughs> quite loyal. <laughs> nice. Well, let us know what game has knocked you off track in the midst of playing another game, and we will talk about it next week. Because I'm thinking about having Octopath Traveler knock me off everything. Everybody Ooh, says I should play it. Yeah. Everybody says I should try Ooh. it. It's a great in the bunk game. So I don't know. I might save it for November when we're on tour, but 
Everybody, I've been flirting with it. I've been looking it up. Mm. To see what it do. So anyway. Nice. Let us know. Use hashtag answer MTTG. We will talk about it next week. Thank you guys so much for being here. 309. <laughs> Number nine. Is that right in the books? books? 309. All right. I'm Gabe Patillo. <laughs> That is Tim yeah. Router. That is it. It's Chris McCracken. And we are married to the games and we are up out this thing. Lil Rashi. <laughs> <laughs>